if she don't feed you, don't feed you, you may have to haunt her face if she gets mouthy in the situation. <laughs> pop, 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 punch her face, pop, punch her face. Door, 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 door. Pop, pop, punch her face, pop, punch her face. If she don't feed you, don't feed you, you may have to haunt her face if she gets mouthy in the situation. Pop, 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 punch her face, pop, punch her face. Door, 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 door. Pop, pop, punch her face, pop, punch her face. Door. If she don't feed you, don't feed you, you may have to haunt her face if she gets mouthy in the situation. <laughs> pop, 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 punch her face, pop, punch her face. Door, 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 door. Pop, pop, punch her face, pop, punch her face. Door. If she don't feed you, don't feed you, you may have to Haunt her face if she gets mouthy in the situation. <laughs> pop, 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 punch her face, pop, punch her face. Door, 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 door. Pop, pop, punch her face, pop, punch her face. Door. If she don't feed you, don't feed you, you may have to haunt her face if she gets mouthy in the situation. <laughs> pop, 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 punch her face, pop, punch her face. Door, 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 door. Pop, pop, punch her face, pop, punch her face. Door. You are about to experience the Drunken Peasants podcast, the greatest podcast in human history. Please recognize that this podcast is designed to be amusing and entertaining, and thus we engage in satirical comments, exaggerations, and even dirty jokes. If you are offended by such things, please go away and die. If you enjoy this podcast, we ask that you help to support its existence by contributing to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash DP. Contributors get regular access to monthly private shows, special commentaries, Google Hangouts with the peasants, and more. If you don't want to do that, you can also support the show by visiting audibletrial.com forward slash drunken peasants to get a free audiobook and access to over 150,000 and audiobook titles, including great selections on science and skepticism. And if you shop on Amazon.com, we strongly urge you to use one of the Amazon affiliate links in the description section of our videos. You can help support the show simply by using our link to buy things you are going to buy anyway. Now that we've got all that shit out of the way, sit back and enjoy the show. From the frigid armpit of America, this is the Drunken Peasants Podcast with Ben and TJ, bringing you opinions of the news from an altered perspective. Fuck it! <laughs> you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. What the fuck you talking about, atheist? You know You're okay. nothing, okay. KJ. You're garbage. Okay. I just want to no, no, be no, no, light. No, no, no. You're no, no, no. garbage. <laughs> and now, here are your hosts, Ben and TJ. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. Fucking thing sucks. Welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, episode 219. Yeah. Yes. TJ, yeah. brought some snacks for you, TJ. Smoke you did. Oh, well, oh, I mean, I'm sorry for me. I can't eat those, though, Scotty. I oh. am on a diet. Can't eat these Oreos, huh? I just can't do it, Skittle. All right. Let's leave these Oreos open right next to you, TJ. Okay, you go ahead and do that, Scotty. <laughs> In case anyone wants an Oreo. You did look butthurt earlier. You're trying to play it off, but earlier... You're like, fuck you guys. Or no, I was just waiting for you, you know, I was saying fuck you guys for something oh, totally unrelated, Ben. You just you weren't following the situation. You with don't, you with don't the individuals. Well, you don't understand. Yeah, you, you don't want any of these. You're crazy. Creamy, delicious peanut butter, Reese's peanut butter Oreos. Limited time only. Did you available only for a limited time, TJ? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, TJ. So they may be have gone. A few of those, man. No, I don't think so, Paul. Oh, Paul, he's already had a few. Oh, he's already oh had a few at home. really? Yeah. That's true. I had a okay. couple. <laughs> 
How, how many is a couple? Let's uh, hear about say, that. Let's a open the bag. Is, a couple is two, Ben. Hmm, it looks like a, looks like a few more. Than, <laughs> I don't know if you understand. <laughs> oh, so well, that was made... mostly, that was you and Chelsea that fucking no, made that I dent, only had dude. one. I had one. Well, then Chelsea made that dent, dude. Uh, oh, okay, sure. I've only had two. Sure you did. 130 right. calories. Added it to my little fucking list. Nah. I'm only at 640 <laughs> calories for the day. Just saying, man. What you at, Paul? You you counting calories? Nope. No. Nope. I'm just uh, eating eating small portions and uh, oh, yeah. doing my yoga. That's the yeah. way to do it. Hey, Paul. Uh, you know our drinking contest is still on. Unfortunately for you, man. I know. I know. I don't think it's gonna take until uh, the next private show, though, for this this uh, weight loss challenge to be wrapped up. Wow. Wow. Damn. Really? Yeah, he's right. Cause uh, at the rate I'm going. You know, by the end of fucking next week, 30 pounds gone like nothing. Wow. Dude, that's... <clears throat> by the that end of crazy. next week. Yep, in the next week. Gone. I and mean, if you do that, you'll win. Yeah, if you do that, you'll win. It's nothing yeah, to me. Will. It ain't shit to me, Ben. It ain't shit. It I already lost those seven Oreos, pounds. By the way. You know seven how many pounds, Oreos Paul. I've eaten? Zero Oreos. Yeah, well, you know. We'll see who wins at the end of the day, Paul. I just want to point out to you, these are limited edition. Who knows oh, how long? Limited edition, who knows huh? how long you'll be able to Holy have these shit. delicious Oreos? Wow. I guess I guess I'll just have to miss out on that. That's a real tragedy. Uh, I'm sure, TJ. Yep. It's right there TJ, if you want some. TJ mm, sent, yeah. sends me this picture today on Skype of, of his new weight, right? And he's lost like five pounds. So I weighed myself. I hadn't even weighed myself. And I've lost like six, almost seven and so I posted a picture back of my weight, and then he posts this other, like he goes, runs, takes his pants off, takes a giant shit, throws <laughs> up, and posts another picture. Like, what was I supposed to believe, PJ, that, or TJ, that you, that you like, magically lost uh, two pounds in less than two hours? It wasn't less than two hours, because I sent you that uh, earlier on, man. It was, uh, <laughs> no, it was, it was, like it was five hours. It was five hours later. Yeah, I lost another. Th that's how quickly I'm dropping the pounds, dude. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. You can't compete with this wow. fucking body, dude. Yeah. They're just gonna outpace you at every fucking level. You know, my metabolism's like, all right, we're we're fucking serious now. We're the beard, starving. The beard is on the line, man. You're such a liar, TJ. What are you talking about? Uh, I won't I'm spoil it now. Shedding the pounds. <laughs> He's lying. I, you you know can what? tell I look at his face, and he's looking yeah, down at the floor. Well, I don't even know he's what I'm lying about. I mean, I have several I just, lies going, but which one are you talking about? <laughs> I just, I just yeah, know. TJ, I are just you know. taking anything, TJ? Taking oh, yeah. I mean, I've already, I've already been clear that I am taking uh, diet pills. So you're yeah. taking ally, and you have water pills, no, no, TJ. Yeah, well, whatever, you know. <laughs> okay. That's, right, that's, I haven't even taken any of the water pills. Those are for those are for uh, the days leading. That's over the day before and the day of the uh, the the weigh in, <laughs> just to shed that water weight so we get an accurate figure. That's the only. Oh, thing accurate. Oh, okay. So you know, I haven't even taken any of those water pills. You know, I want. I just want an accurate figure, dude. I'm yeah, sure, TJ. I know that there are shenanigans going on. Nobody just osmoses two pounds of fat off their <laughs> ass in five hours. It doesn't happen, TJ. It does. Something, something's it did. going on, TJ. It did, Paul. But you know what? I'm taking the high road on this one. Clean wow. eating, exercising every day. We'll see who gets there first. Yeah, I guarantee you. Yeah, throughout the, throughout American history, if one thing has been shown, it's that cheaters never prosper. We'll see, oh, TJ. Fuck. We'll see. We will see. We'll see you shaving that fucking beard off your so face. So this coming Friday, we will have a weigh-in. I would say at this point, guys, keep your weights to yourselves so that we can have a surprise. All right. I, I think I think what I'll have you guys do... Can I taunt Paul privately? <clears throat> no, I want it to be a surprise between the two of you, too. <sighs> All right, fine. I And I want you guys to, to text me the picture of your weight so that only I'll know. And then we can kind of, like, tease it throughout... And then at the end, sure, we'll we could do that. Results. That's fine. Fair enough. But uh, you know, uh, uh, we could just skip uh, ahead to the end of the week where I win this Holy first week. Shit. So, you know, I guarantee when Friday comes around, it's not like Paul's going to be the winner. Okay. All right. I'm TJ. just outpacing him. I'm outpacing him. I'm just a better. I'm better at this. Yeah, we'll you're, out, you're outpacing you. You're outpacing. <sighs> you're outpacing me at eating Oreos. You fat fuck. Ha! We'll see, Paul. <laughs> we shall see. Falling behind, TJ. I am not falling behind. I'm ahead of him right now, man. 
Mm, I don't know. Last I checked, I'm at seven. He's at six. Nearly seven. Seven. Nearly seven. Seven's higher than six. Last I checked. So you got a couple ounces on him, TJ. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> You know, hey man, couple ounces. Yeah, they you, only normally I, measure babies and ounces. That's only a, that's after only three days of this shit. You know, did, Who did knows? you uh, did you did you weigh yourself uh, after eating an entire row of limited edition peanut butter Oreos? No, I did not. Oh yeah, get on the scale now. Let's see if you're still at two ninety. Uh, I'm sure I probably am. <laughs> I bet you're not. I didn't. I didn't clear no row. I ate two of the damn things. It's 130 calories. I added it to uh, my little fucking chart. That. You ate more than that. I TJ. did not. You fucking lying bag sack. Bag don't of shit. lie. A bag don't lie. You and Chelsea <laughs> fucking pigged out on that shit. Not bag me. Bag don't lie, TJ. Oh whatever. Fuck you. Yeah, we'll a see. Whole row of Oreos. Fucking you must feel. You must feel so lie. low. The weight don't lie, man. Okay. The weight don't lie. I uh, will see. We'll see, TJ. Yeah, we will see. You know what it's time for? Hashtag Team TJ. The triumphant return of... Time to make the money. 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 I'm the drug and heavy podcast. Shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Scotty. Shut the fuck up. Scotty's a piece of shit. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so, yeah, we're sh- we got some new stuff. Yeah, the, the cool, the Coolsville, the sun never sets in Coolsville. Paul's Coolsville. ego, the first wow. ever official Paul's ego shirt, fifty-two sold already. Twenty yeah. days remaining. The sun never sets in Coolsville. Yeah, show him that shirt, Ben. Yeah, you want me to click on it? Yeah, yeah. click on that shit. Click show him a bigger on. version. Let him see what we got. That's a badass yeah. motherfucker right there. That looks like yep. some fucking professional comic book artist type shit right there. That's that's super Wheatley, man. He's fucking great. And and that I mean, dude, when he, when he said he was going to draw something up for me, I had no idea it was going to be this fucking cool. That's way cooler than I ever thought it was going to be. So. It's a real shame that iconic beard is going away. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it'll grow back. If you cheat your way to a victory, the beard will grow back. See, just, Paul is entertaining the possibility I'm, I'm just of him winning. White guilt, I am not entertaining the possibility of him winning at all. He's hey, like, if hey. you win, there is no if. I'm going to win. In in order to fully understand your enemy, you have to entertain the possibility that they may win. That's not true. Dino is still for sale. If you yeah. get one within the next seven days, it will ship uh, right on the eighth day. Dino. Same thing goes for uh, the white Dinor. Oh, yeah. White Dinor. There's a second Coolsville shirt. Oh, the Jim Asic Park shirt. Yes. I hadn't seen that one. Yeah. Oh, first, we wanted to talk about the original shirt. You got to fucking get it. Yeah, man. Original. It's legendary. There's thousands of them out there. Smoke pan every day. The official Drunken Peasants shirt. The first shirt. The shirt that started it all. Seven seven days to get one. Get hey, it. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Smoke pan every day. Yeah, this one is amazing. Jim, welcome. To Jamassic Park. <laughs> dun 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 dun. You gotta buy I mean, the shirt, you fag. It's awesome. Look at it. I mean, like, who doesn't cool. want that? Everyone wants that. I just wanna that. point out if we ever hit 42 million, Jim Ass and Diner will have sex on DP. <laughs> Sweet. It is a Patreon goal. That's awesome. Band TJ is back. Yeah. 23 Band days TJ. to buy the Band TJ shirt. We also have the. Uh, Drunken Peasants official hoodie. We got the uh, alternate version of the Coolsville shirt. Which I actually like better, but it doesn't sell as well. So. But it has yeah. pink glasses instead of, That's and it's white. It, it had to be a few dollars more because it has an extra color in it. Yeah. But that's uh, if that's an alternate version. It's worth in case it. you want that, that's a with yeah. white in white and shit. We got the band Ben shirt. We got a new shirt, band Paul with the fucking parrot. Yeah, pa- Paul, you want a cracker? Only if TJ wants one too. <laughs> it, should, it should say that. Polly want an Oreo? No. No, Polly oh, doesn't. TJ, TJ does is garbage. Though. And the band Scotty shirt, which no one wants. No one wants it. No one wants it. The Mem shirt. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is the last. Yeah, the Mem is, shirt's going away. This is going away. <laughs> you got so seven is, days for Mem. So's the blue band Scotty. That's probably going away soon. Yeah, we're going to do an updated new version of the band Scotty shirt. Um, Jim Asic Park, even though it says 19 out of 50, uh, there's been enough sales for it to ship. Cool. So let's just hit the, the 50 gold just for the fuck of it. Yeah, man. Who doesn't want a Jim Asic Park shirt? If you, hey, I mean, 
I mean, if if <laughs> if they sold shirts my size at Teespring, I would get one, but they don't. I, I think they do. Do they? Uh, Last yeah, I checked, dude, they I'm, don't. Let's I see. I was able to get a four X. Uh, oh yeah, but I don't wear a four X. I wear like a I wear like a two oh, XL fit you. It would fit you. Yeah, but I'd look like fucking. It'd be like a fucking moo moo or something. <laughs> Yeah. It comes in red, too. Oh, cool. Yeah, the red looks cool, too. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, there's different colors. So if yeah. you go to check out each shirt, um, there's... Just hit just hit buy it now. Yeah, like that Let's Paul it, shirt. Has the size. Both those Paul shirts come in a few different colors, so it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Let's different see. background colors. Okay, yeah, go to size. Size. Yeah, it only goes by yeah three XL. Yeah, there's no there's no LTS, man. Oh, oh whatever. They don't whiner. They what don't cater to whiner. tall people. You they're, and your fucking teeth. Seems Anyway, stressed. link in the description, and uh, also there'll be an annotation for those of you not yeah, watching wait live. I don't want that. Time uh, to get on with the fucking show. We should play the intro. Oh no, intro. Oh man, oh no. All right, here it is. Hey guys, so I've been hearing this. Uh, weird comments that there's this man that exists that doesn't exist at all. Um, I don't think they understand what I'm trying to say, but they call him the amazing atheist. And this guy apparently does not exist. You know, he's, um, he's a CGI figure. Okay, well, the jig is up. Fuck. Sorry, everybody. It's true. <laughs> Be neat if you just disappeared. Yeah, I wish I could do that, but I, I don't have that ability. If I was a CG character, I'd be doing way more interesting shit than what I do now. I'd be like climbing up buildings and you know. yeah, no lie. <laughs> I was just throwing like, scorpion hands and shit. Yeah, if you're a CGI character, why wouldn't you actually do some really cool shit? Like here I am at the fucking you know the the Swiss Alps or something. Like I'm gonna fucking jump off this bridge and do all this crazy shit. Like why would you just sit in front of a fucking green screen or a fucking blank screen in the room? It's 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 all part of someone's elaborate plan, dude that's been created mm -hmm. and you know i've i've heard of him through his disciples you know there's he has some um, some disciples like i've seen this horde disciple that that he has and some other i have a horde disciple is that what he said oh yeah where is she is it like mary magdalene or something Disciples. Like, I didn't know. I never. I've never considered my audience disciples before. The disciples of TJ. Her disciples, you know, the ones that spread the the hatred towards the community. What community? Um, but <laughs> Just you know, the, they spread the, the hatred. You know, they the they have their disciples. We have our disciples. Okay. And they're they they have hatred because we have disciples and they do the same thing. Uh huh. So that's why. I, well, I'm telling you guys that he doesn't exist, you know. They, they haven't seen any of his disciples around here, you know. <laughs> you know, and when he's... I'm sorry, what? What's going... What? Uh, I don't this even like know, a, dude. You know. I'm confused. Is, you know. Is, this, is this a really good troll or just like someone who's crazy? All right, let's, let's see. Dead and burned up and he's cremated. <laughs> um, then come and tell me... Ask, come and ask me if he exists, and I'll tell you if he existed or not, okay? So, as you know, I'll tell you he doesn't exist, and because I could be from the future and just be born and he died of troll. an overdose. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, it's troll, dude. This is 100% you know, troll. I'll just say, hey, he never existed because I never saw him. And I never seen his disciples. And if one of his disciples came, I'll just say it's nonsense because he never existed. I mean, he never came to me in my time. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And if he never presented himself to what me. What do you think, TJ? He's saying you're like Jesus. He's denying you like you would deny Jesus, I guess. Uh, maybe that's the point he's trying to make. Uh, I don't know. It's a troll. Yeah, it's definitely a troll. Troll. Is the Enterprise under attack? Shit. Yeah. Red alert. All right. Uh, we have a new intro for the news slash political shit segment. Cool. It, it was made by Runny Lump. Everyone check out oh, Runny yeah. Lump. Runny Lump's cool. Yeah. 
we're lumps of shit in yeah, that dude. fucking intro. And and in real life also. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is true. Ronnie Lump gets us, dude. He understands. He sees through the facade at the shit lying underneath. We're just CG shit. Only you not listening CG to all shit. of TJ's disciples. So I guess Obama's in Cuba, which is something that doesn't happen. I think the first often. president in 88 yeah. years or something. Yeah. Cool. It's been a while. So I believe this is a clip about that. I hope there's a fucking video a of him smoking a Cuban cigar. Can one day change their tune. That's the U.S. national anthem being played on Cuban soil. As President Obama joined the island's ruler, Raul Castro, in Havana to close out this final chapter of the Cold War. I've come back with my family when I'm no longer president, <laughs> and I don't have so many obligations. Like, would we, wouldn't While we live in a much more awesome world if that dude, that military dude, like, not that I want this to happen, but it would be pretty fucking awesome if he just, like, hacked him to death? He was like, Presidente! <laughs> just, like, what would be stopping him at that point from just running Obama through? Obama would fucking stop him with his ninja-like yeah. reflexes, dude. Spinning know, back kick. Spinning fucking, back kick. I, no, I feel like Obama, like, he'd fucking strike at Obama, and Obama would, like, put his arm up and shit, and then, like, he'd, like, he'd be like, that sword should have cut through you, and Obama pulls off his fucking sleeve, and it's like a fucking metallic fucking robot arm and shit. I don't know. I've seen Obama fucking blast on the I'll, missiles. I'll just say he would jump to avoid trouble. He is Kenyan. You know, they can jump really high, right? Obama's okay on the basketball court. It's more like the uh, the, the bowling uh, rink where he fucking sucks. Is it called a rink? I don't a know rink? What it's called. A bowling rink? What is it called? It's a bowling, called a bowling alley. Well, a bowling alley, yeah. and you play on a lane. A lane. lane, yeah. He's no, a terrible I, bowling I don't... I don't... What bowling would stop him? What? <laughs> it's like you throw bowling balls at skaters. A bowling ring. <laughs> The thing Dude, open one of those. I will. The thing that would stop the guy from killing Obama is because they don't really want to have the embargo anymore. I, mean, I must say though that when I was watching that, I, I did kind of have a similar thought because he's like he comes like within like a f like fucking five ten feet of the president and starts like swinging a sword around like ah ha ha. It's like shit. Yeah. For the usual diplomatic gestures, as Mr. Obama signed a book to remember the pre-Castro revolutionary Jose Marti, the president also delivered a tough message to the Cubans to begin respecting basic human freedoms. That Cuba's destiny will not be decided by the United States or any other nation. But Castro had his own set of grievances. Right at the top, the U.S. embargo strangling the Cuban economy that still stands. But he did not answer the question on why his country holds political prisoners. Why do you have Cuban Why political need, prisoners? Wait, you don't even need an answer to that. You know, he, he holds political prisoners for the same reason any country has political prisoners. Because huh? they're challenging the fucking, you know... Yeah, there's... Yeah, a, they don't want dissent. Yeah, they're, they're, they're challenging the government. I mean... Right. You know. There's one family in control. Like, there was Fidel and now there's Raul because Fidel is, like, Fidel. totally out of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, think I think Fidel's he's, been dead for a few months. Is he dead? Is he dead now? I, I, I don't think they've announced that he's dead, oh. but I think he's been dead. Maybe. I don't know, but... I mean, that's possible. Or he's extremely Last Ill. time I saw him, he was looking pretty bad. Give me a list of the political prisoners, and I will release them immediately. Oh, oh the president is going around. Yeah. Fuck you. Suck no. a dick. All right, here... Yeah, let's give him a list. Let's give him a fucking list. I'm sure it wouldn't be hard to make one. Where's to weaken the embargo? See how old the cars are there? Yeah. Look, they, they drive cars from like 50, 60 years ago. Fucking A. Loosening travel restrictions on Americans who want to see the island and bringing with them big hotel company CEOs who want to turn Cuban mojitos into money. But just hours before President Obama set foot in Cuba, there was a vivid reminder that changes here won't come quickly. Well, I think we heard the reason why this is actually happening. Like, a bunch of big businesses see a lot of money in Cuba. It's like, oh, okay, this is why this is all going on. Then. Right. Mojito. Someday it'll just be like a resort island where Americans just go to vacation. Yep, that's probably the ideal. Uh, people used to do it, but we before clear this, the land and build Jurassic Park. Before the, <laughs> before the revolution, a ton of Americans would go to Cuba. 
And people people from all over the world go there. Hey, now. I'll tell you what. If they can grow good tobacco there, they could probably grow them amazing weed there. Maybe. You yeah. got to see if we could find any mosquitoes that uh, landed on Dinor. Maybe mosquitoes. We, we can extract mosquitoers. some DNA and you know some Dinor DNA. It's rounded up awesome. a group of protesters known as the Ladies in White. Critics say Mr. Obama is propping up a dictatorship. Unless human rights is at the very top of the agenda, it will have a negative okay, impact. Okay, well, and, I mean, come uh, on, that's bullshit. We're allies with a bunch of countries that have shitty fucking human rights record. Oh, Saudi Arabia. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't I mean, know, that, dude. I, I don't see the plight of your average Cuban improving when what Ben was talking about happens and it becomes just a giant fucking resort island. Exactly. Like, no. like Jamaica. No, it's not, it's not going to help them. No, not at all. I mean, maybe marginally, maybe a little bit, but I don't know. You know, this, it, it'll help the ones that get jobs serving fucking mojitos to the tourists. Uh, push there are already the shadows. people doing that. Yeah, but if you, you know, you got a whole fucking another country of tourism opened up. I've known, yeah, you know. I mean, I've known people from all over the world that have vacationed in Cuba, but yeah. Americans just don't go. But I mean, the U.S. is so close to Cuba that... If they did open that up, if you know, if they open the floodgates like that, where just anyone could go, and there's all sorts of American-friendly resorts there, that would uh, open the floodgates. Yeah. I'd go. <laughs> going to Havana. Uh, the dissidents, the political prisoners uh, that are still in Cuba today. Cortaron la puerta, rompieron acá. But even in Cuba's dissident community, there is hope. Jose Daniel Ferrer, a former political prisoner, says the president's visit can provide a much needed push. Freed under the Obama administration's diplomatic breakthrough with Cuba, he's calling on the president to think of Reagan. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. And then the demand Gorbachev that age old barriers start coming Just down Reagan in said Cuba. So. <laughs> we have to tear down many walls, he tells me, so that the Cuban people can live with dignity. Okay, well, the problem with that is that, like, one of the major, like, probably going to be the final two presidential candidates in this country actually wants to build walls, not tear them down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. I got in uh, some shit, though, for fucking uh, making an anti... I made a video making fun of a bunch of Trump supporters, and a bunch of Trump supporters got butthurt. Oh, uh, It's well, real sad. Fuck. They're upset. <laughs> I mean, if they do stupid shit, then they get a video made about them. Whatever. Yeah, but they're like... Uh, they, you know, I did a video... Uh, BuzzFeed went over to... Um, to uh, a Trump rally in Youngstown, Ohio, and had people write on a piece of paper like what they thought would happen. The murder capital if, uh, of Trump, Ohio. If Trump lost and uh, and you know Bernie Sanders or Hillary Clinton won, and they put up their signs with their responses, and of course, you know, ninety percent of them were fucking retarded. One world order. But of course, <laughs> the, all all the Trump supporters are like. They they just picked out the dumbest ones. Like yeah, I'm, I'm sure they really had to to look for a dumb Trump supporter. It must have been really yeah. hard to find. Yeah. You're right. They probably had to fucking get a, a, a thousand people to write those signs before they could even find twenty dumb ones. Also, all those people agreed to write that. It wasn't like they were forced to write anything. My favorite one was the pro-slavery guy. We didn't have these <laughs> problems when slavery was in. It's like okay. <laughs> he also covered his face too. I like so, the people that gave the really deep analysis. Like they were like, "Education is gonna get worse. Also, the economy gonna be in the toilet." It's like what? Like the, just this vague, like vaguely political bullshit that they picked up. Yeah, Glenn Beck ask. <laughs> I'm surprised Glenn Beck isn't in Trump's corner. Honestly, yeah, he's, I think he's more like Cruz. Yeah, he does. Yeah, and he hates Trump. Hates him. <laughs> Strange. Yep. All right, so Elizabeth Warren and Donald Trump, I guess they had, like, a Twitter war. Woo! Yeah. I'm glad that even uh, people on that level aren't yeah. coming from Twitter wars with one another. Such is the time. Welcome back to the lead. The good old-fashioned Twitter war is Donald Trump's weapon of choice, but now Senator Elizabeth Warren is slugging it out tweet for tweet with Trump, calling the Republican frontrunner a loser and a tyrant. Sarah Murray is in You're Washington and has the latest on this. And Sarah, you know, we did get Just in touch with Senator Warren's office. Just Twitter war as if, like, it's anything like war. Like, someone's writing mean things about me. It's like war. 
Just ridiculous. Oh. Hunt war in 140 characters. And this is actually her, they tell us, tweeting from her official verified account. They say it's not an aide, and it's some pretty hard-hitting stuff. How did this start? John, it's another day. It's another Twitter war, but now we have a new player. Like you said, Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. She Man, started you know, off a it's, couple uh, it's too bad we didn't have Twitter wars back uh, when Hitler <laughs> took power because we could have settled this whole thing. FDR, yeah, FDR and, and Churchill. And, yeah, and then did they and Hitler, Hitler and Mussolini. Mussolini and Stalin. They can all have a big Twitter war. You know, no one has to die or anything. It's, I think this is a brave new world we live in, man. Hours ago, essentially saying Donald Trump is a loser because of some of his failed business deals, because of his attacks on women, because of bullying. And Donald Trump was actually asked about this in his press conference today. And he said, what, the Indian? The Indian? Uh, a reference, apparently, to back when Elizabeth Warren wrote that she was Native American uh, on some old paperwork at Harvard. Uh, if he thought that was going to stop Elizabeth Warren on Twitter, I though, think, think again, she resumed her attacks as soon as that press conference was wrapping up. Uh, she said, why is it that real Donald Trump can call himself the unity candidate while basing his campaign? You know, a lot of people think that Trump's candidacy is, uh, you know, he's invincible and shit, but... Actually, uh, my intelligence says that there's actually a small thermal exhaust port on Trump's body, no more than two meters across. And if you <laughs> fire a shot directly into that exhaust port, he will explode. So. Pain on racism, sexism, xenophobia, and hatred. Um, and if you look at her most hatred. recent tweet here, pretty harsh stuff. We cannot elect wannabe tyrants to the White House. Not now, not ever. It's up. We've done it plenty of times. What are you talking about? It's an American yeah, tradition. I would say, like, no, that's, that's not true. I mean, what about Andrew Jackson? I mean, you know, fuck. To all of us to stop real Donald Trump. Now, remember, Elizabeth Warren sort of flirted with whether she should get into this presidential race or not. Maybe this Twitter spree is her having second thoughts, or maybe she's just personally offended by what's going on uh, with Donald Trump lately. But you see there, she's no, really trying is, to stick it to him. This is a political game. She, she, needs more, she wants to raise her profile in the media, and Donald Trump is the most popular media figure right now. It's just a calculated political action. All I can think about watching this this story is what TJ brought up earlier about like, what if Hitler had Twitter? Like I'm just imagining like, <laughs> the Jews must march to the ovens. Hashtag Third Reich. Hashtag Master Race. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you prick a Jew, does he not bleed? Hashtag England forever. You know Soviet I mean? Auschwitz. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, man. You can fucking have like the um. The uh, the Nazi soldiers like give it, taking selfies as they drop the Zyklon B in and shit. <laughs> <laughs> On Twitter today, John. You know, it really is interesting, Sarah, because we are starting to see Democrats more publicly go directly after Donald Trump, not waiting for a general election. You're seeing, you know, leaks to the Washington Post and the New York Times saying this is the Democratic plan to take on Trump. I wonder if this Elizabeth Warren salvo is part of that. Eight of them snacks smell good, well, John No. No, they don't. The, 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 the aroma. Mm. Mm. Smell the aroma. like an old boot. Disgusting. The aroma of that peanut butter Oreo that Scotty's munching on right there. No. It's, ah. It smells disgusting to me. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't even how imagine easy, eating something so, so repugnant. Mm. How easy it would be, TJ, to just grab a couple more. I mean, what? It's only like another 120 calories, man. Just grab a couple more. 130, Paul. Yeah, oh, sorry. Sorry. Well, yeah, you're only I don't at want 6. It. Get, get it out of there. Yeah. Is it 130 calories per cookie per uh, serving, which is two cookies? I see. So, yeah. Oh, man. I think so part good. of the realization think, that Scotty, Democrats all you're accomplishing is making yourself fat, all right? So, whatever. It's fine, TJ. Go ahead. Mm. I'm going to have another one of those. Pretty TJ. soon, I'm going to weigh less than your ass. What? TJ's, TJ's mouth is watering, dude. Look at no, it. it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, he's salivating so hard. Oh, uh, yeah. TJ, look at that. No. Look at that, TJ. Oh, man, that peanut butter looks so good. Mm. You don't see no salivation. Mm. No <laughs> salivation. Oh. All, right, All right, this is boring. What's so, next? Uh, this next one is John Kasich saying that leaving the presidential race would be nuts. <laughs> yeah. Even though he's like so far behind, he can't yeah. possibly win. That, It'd be that's nuts. nuts. I mean, it's like wow. 
I think Kasich really time. is. I think he's banking on the the brokered convention thing. Maybe. Or maybe he has an agreement with Trump to like steal votes from Cruz, so that he could be the vice president. <laughs> could be too. Who knows? Because you never really saw Kasich really attack Trump, more than kind of just being like, "Oh, well, Trump, you know, he's." Yeah, Trump is Trump. Kasich yeah. is desperately trying to portray himself as like the moderate face of the Republican Party, like basically taking up picking up the baton from Jeb Bush. I mean, I don't know why it doesn't really seem to be a winning strategy at this point, but I guess someone's got to take on that role. Well, the Republican Party is extremely fractured at this point. I'd you know say, why? I'd say Kasich has a pretty good chance if the, they can make the brokered convention thing they happen. It's the Republican, uh, the Republican establishment people are all freaked out now because of Trump. But this is what they this is what they get from like courting like the Tea Party wackos for all those years, you know, making them feel like like, I don't know. Well, there's all, there's also a group in like the, the House of Representatives called like the Freedom Caucus or something. It's like yeah. 40 members and like they're basically trying to grow their influence. So, the, so there's basically the Republican establishment. There's these new conservatives that basically just like we're politically incorrect, more like Trump Cruz types. And, I, and, and then that's why you're seeing, you know, Cruz and Trump being the, the, basically the front runners and mo mostly <laughs> Trump at this point. I'm telling you, the same shit is going to happen to the Democratic Party if they don't stop courting this fucking SJW shit. Like, it's going to be the yeah. same fucking bullshit just down the line. All right, so here's Kasich. You're right. This is a radical thing now, but they may actually pick somebody who could actually be a good president and could run the country. Hmm. So uh, I'm not going anywhere. Am I a spoiler? Of course I'm not a spoiler. Go ask the people that come to my rallies. What they say is, thank God you're giving us some hope that this country can be improved. So I'm not going anywhere. We're going to keep working. We're gaining momentum. I'm getting known, and all things are good. And I've been at a convention uh, that was uh, contentious. And you know what? The delegates take their decision-making seriously. Now, if I'm the only one that can beat Hillary in the fall, why would, why would anybody say I should leave? I mean, that's... <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this is basically the establishment guy being like, "Come on, the establishment. I'm, I, I'm, I'm normal. I'm normal. I'm not Trump." Establishment. Just, that's establishment. nuts. Yeah, it's not nuts. I mean, I don't know. He, he's he's dreaming. I don't think there's any chance of him being almost vir virtually no chance. Um, but whatever, you know. Maybe he just wants to raise his profile so he can run again. I mean, it, that's what Mitt Romney had to do. He had to run once and fail, and then he had to run again, and then he actually got the nomination. Yeah. Maybe if Romney had run one run again, a third time would have been a charm. I don't know. Probably not. I doubt that. Yeah, Romney. No. Romney looked like such a fucking weakling up against Obama that there's you don't you don't wash that off as a politician. also also totally out of touch like Romney was asked so many questions and he was just like you could tell he just did not live in the same society as most people he was like oh what yeah. what is that all right so this next one is Donald Trump's anti-Washington campaign hits Washington okay Donald Trump predicted something many others doubt that he will win the nomination outright I think we're gonna maybe easily make that number of Maybe the easily. 1237. Uh, we should make it pretty easily based on what I'm seeing. So we won't have to worry about fighting at a convention. The unlikely frontrunner trying to make Washington Republicans more comfortable with him as their nominee. Trump, if people uh, want to be smart, they should embrace this movement. If they don't want to be smart... By the way, uh, I've been reading some tr shit Trump's been saying. He's already kind of moderating his crazy shit. Like, he's, he's already coming out with a much more moderate, like, I mean, I don't know if he, he's obviously still sticking to his usual talking points, but, like, he's definitely trying to be more like, oh, I'm, I'm presidential and shit. I'm not the crazy, I'm Donald Trump, wee, you know. It's kind I don't of know if that's a smart move at this juncture for him. It probably is, honestly, because he's already feels like he's got the nomination locked down. He's uh, starting to try to focus on the general election, and Republican candidates always fucking do this shift towards the center after they've secured the the right wing demagogues in their party to get the nomination. It's like when they're when they're running for the nomination of the Republican Party, they're all it's like a big pissing contest to figure out who's got the biggest conservative dick. And then once they, well, someone actually gets the nomination, they got to try to convince the rest of America that, no, I'm actually a fucking moderate. I'm like in the middle. I'm, I'm reasonable.
Yeah, they should. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think. I, I think it's a little early for him to be shifting gears. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I don't think he's as secure as he's saying he is. Uh, I, I do think that this. The more I read about this brokered convention possibility, the more it looks like it, it could happen. And if it does happen, I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. Like, and I think I think he knows that. And to stop courting the dumb people that are putting him in front now and start sounding more like a normal politician seems a little premature, but whatever. We shall see. Do what they're doing now, and the Republicans are going to go down to a massive loss. Before meeting in public with reporters, the anti-Washington candidate went behind closed doors with Washington power brokers, a group of about two dozen members of Congress, lobbyists, and establishment Republicans. A meeting organized by the lone GOP senator to endorse Trump, Jeff Sessions, and attended by a handful of rank-and-file House Republicans considering backing Trump and others who already do. Watch what's happening across the country. Watch what the voting uh, voters are saying. And you know, in, in my district in Tennessee, 48 percent went Trump. So you know, it's pretty easy to. to <laughs> oh yeah, to I see why you love you Trump now. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. A lot of people voted for Trump in my district. Trump's not so bad. I love him. He's great. <laughs> Gotta listen to what the voters are saying, man. 48 percent can't argue with that. He's my guy. So basically, it's districts should be one big in. Yeah. You know what's funny is I, I realize that all this shit that people hate these politicians for being pandering jackasses, but then look at the pressure that anybody gets to pander to exactly what their fucking audience or demographic wants. I mean, you see that here on this show all the time, like change one thing, audience like, what the fuck? Change that back. You nothing without us fans. Ah! It's like people want to be pandered to. And then when someone panders to them, they're like, you insult me by pandering to me. Fuck you. Let's get people your damn mind. People generally don't know what they want. Mr. Trump will be our nominee. Uh, we need to take the fight to Hillary Clinton. Never Trump stickers? Anti-Trump forces showed up too, handing out Never Trump stickers and on the lookout for Republican lawmakers backing That'll Trump stop in preparation to run TV ads against them. Trump These stickers gonna fucking he, he plays, sink Trump's boat. He plays like the like intermission music from like hockey games. Did you hear that yeah. shit? <laughs> yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> Quit coughing, fucking cretin. <clears throat> Beat you. That's what you get for eating all them Oreos, Scotty. Making you sickly. Trump's attempt to woo the establishment he rails against will culminate with one of his most crucial speeches to date, an address to a meeting of the influential pro-Israel lobby, AIPAC. I think it's probably the toughest negotiation of all time. Trump has his work cut out for him, explaining his promise to be neutral in Israeli-Palestinian talks, which staunch Bullshit. supporters of Israel see as anti-Israel. Bullshit. There's no, way, there's no way Trump's going to come out and say it to that crowd. He's going to be like, we need a strong Israel. Israel needs to win some more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, He'll just redefine the word neutral. He'll be like, when I was talking about neutral, I meant neutral in the sense of being completely on the side of Israel. <laughs> Uh, and, and partially on the side of Israel. So neutral about Israel is what I meant. I'd like to at least have the other side think I'm somewhat neutral as to them so that we can maybe... Well, get it kind of doesn't work if you tell a big See, that's what I'm saying. public audience, like, no, no, it's okay, I'm not really neutral. I'm just saying I'm neutral so they'll trust me. It's like, okay, but that, can't they just go watch this video and be like, hey, you're lying, you have this video where you say this is what you're doing. It doesn't matter. He said this last week. By the time he speaks before IPAC, it'll be like way outside of the fucking 48 to 72 hours that people will remember shit. It doesn't matter. Like, he's proved that over and over again. Like, in the last debate, one of the people actually showed, like, conflicting uh, uh, speeches that he's given during this race that completely contradict themselves. And he just shrugged it off. He was just like, no, no, I didn't contradict myself. He took me out of context, blah, 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 blah. Like the Bible. China. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. Like, he can say what he wants. Get a deal done. Beyond the policy, Trump supporters say the APAC venue is a critical test of whether he Big can come muscles. off as presidential. John Cena. Especially important for Team Trump after a weekend of more heated images from Trump rallies, I mean, including if campaign if truth, managers. Honesty and consistency actually mattered in American politics. Trump wouldn't be the front runner right now. 
True. I mean, it's it's just like it's it's clear that those things that some nor people for that think matter with Hillary. Important. You what now? I said nor for that matter with Hillary. No, yeah, yeah, of course yeah, not. True. Yeah, we don't care in this country about transparency. We don't care about honesty, openness, consistency, and we show that every time we go to the fucking polls. We show that we don't want these things. If we wanted them, we'd have them. It's not like we don't. We, it's not like we lack candidates. Bernie is the closest thing to that candidate that's come around in at least two or three generations. Joe Corey Lewandowski in the middle of a tussle. RNC chair Reince Priebus told CNN Trump staffers should not put Rens themselves Priebus. in such positions. Getting involved is not the answer. I think you leave these things up to the professionals. Getting involved is not the answer. Okay. <laughs> yep, that, that's it. Getting involved is not the answer. We don't care what anything else you said. Leave it up to the professionals. You know, uh, on the last episode, I think, we were talking about Glenn Beck, and we were like, why doesn't he ever talk about Mormonism? Well, here's a clip. Glenn Beck calls upon the Mormon priesthood to rise up and save America. Finally. But I have a special message for the people of Utah. And a message that I haven't said to anybody else because... I'm not of their faith and I don't have any right to speak to them in these tones. But I believe... I agree with that baby. <laughs> yeah! oh, no, shut it up! <laughs> Stop him from talking! The Book of Mormon. I believe it to be true. I believe every word of it. I'm a convert since 2000. So I come to it with a different perspective. Many people here came to it through your family. And many people take it for granted. But let me tell you this. It's either true or it's not. And that book yeah. spells out in great detail what things look like before the Lord comes back. And he gave us that book so we can protect freedom here. He also gave us that book so we would know what to do at the time. Now, you either believe that or you don't. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't. Uh, the book was written by a fucking known con man. <laughs> I mean, who was mysteriously murdered in a prison shootout. Yeah. And he believed <laughs> that, like, white people and and were like the true israelites and they used to like the nephites yeah with it like there was like all, a lot of the shit in the bible took place in north america and jesus had come to north america and like, yeah well, there was all the, kinds of the, weird shit in there weren't the american indians part of it too like they're, yeah. they're yes. israelites too or something i forget how yes. the fuck they're involved the, well there were white indians too nephites oh, okay and then also uh they believed that black people were turned black by god because they stayed neutral in the battle or between satan and jesus who are brothers by the way yeah who are brothers yes kind of the like brothers and of, lore. the brothers of elohim the, elohim. the supreme god that seeds many planets with his multiple wives i thought they were yeah. the sons of elohim yes they're they're the sons they are yeah Oh, through okay. endless celestial sex. <laughs> celestial yeah. sex. You either believe that to be true, it's not just a book. I believe. Then yeah. let the priesthood lead. Priesthood holders, stand up and take your staff. I mean, if there's any place in the world where a meteorite needs to, like, crash land, <laughs> it's right here. I agree. Dude, look at the vacant-ass expressions like, on the, some of these people's faces. A meteorite the size of a football field Glenn needs to Beck. just fucking sure. fall on Right these now, people. just in this very frame, there's, like, Glenn three Beck. gawky-looking, like, late teen, early 20 dudes that are just making this face. Yeah. And, and, and they all look like they could be brothers, too. I must be that endless incestual sex, dude. Yep. Incestual. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was, yeah it was endless celestial. Now it's endless it's incestual. incestual. Yeah. You know, once, once they decided, you know, all the, all the uh, polygamy, eventually you're going to end up reproducing with one of your relatives Literally, with all that going on. <laughs> I mean, shit. <laughs> Just look at them. 
Look at these fuckers, especially that one in the corner. What the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> and by the way, I realize that they don't do polygamy in the United States anymore. Yeah, whatever. Plenty of them still do. That's why Mitt Romney's uh, father was born in Mexico. Yeah. Because he was part of a polygamous commune. Polygamy is legit, yo. You are the guardian at the gate. God, Glenn Beck, you're loud. What a fuck. All right. Glenn Beck's going to save us all. I don't think we've watched this one. Let me know if you think we have. It's, uh, it's Baker likens Bernie Sanders to Hitler. Yeah. We have seen it? No, I mean, I've I never seen that. Okay. As you grew up, mm-hmm. you heard the rhetoric. This is the guy that's always selling the meals. Yeah, America, I know. I the remember. bonus buckets. Is no good. Yeah. That's what's taught to us. I mean, even with everything that we're taught, we're taught our history in America, but at the same time, it's from a different source. It's from a different standpoint. And so everything you're taught as you're growing up, you believe that America, you're always apologizing for America. You're always saying that, well, we were the bad guys in the situation. We shouldn't have meddled in that situation. We always stick okay. our hands well, in. Yeah, I mean, uh, guess what? We made mistakes as a country, and yeah, yeah we, should, we should actually look back and be like, yeah, we fucked up. I don't understand. What is this endorsement? Well, she's, say, she's saying like school textbooks say this. I'm like, they, I really don't think they do. Some kind. I mean, like to some extent, but I mean, like honestly, the school textbooks cover up a lot of the horrible shit that happened in America's past, if anything. But I mean, they, what's the problem with that? And yeah, they still do. I worked uh, in in the fucking elementary schools in California, one of the most liberal states. And the genocide of the Indians is still glossed over all the way through fucking high school. It's barely mentioned. Oh, you like know what? It, it's funny that you mentioned that. It's so funny that you mentioned that because we get angry messages all the time now because of when you guys goofed on that Indian that was talking to Bernie Sanders. Okay. <laughs> from we, we get angry messages from, from Native Americans all the time. I didn't even know there was enough left to send us angry messages. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Fuck you, dude. And aren't they busy running their casinos and shit? What the fuck? <laughs> we don't even have time to watch this. <laughs> You're such a fucking they need idiot. To, they need to stop taking themselves so seriously if they're really butthurt about me making fun of Chief Joseph. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Chief so, uh, Joseph. Chief Joe Blow. <laughs> well, we don't need to be. But that's what we're taught as American citizens what did in Brigitte, this generation. What did Brigitte mm-hmm. say to you is the master plan? To infiltrate our nation, to make our minds, this young generation growing up now are the leaders of our generation. And our nation, they're going into these positions, and they're the ones now leading our nation. So it's an infiltration from the mind within our nation. What? What? Hold on. Um, People think differently than me. It's an infiltration. What the fuck was that? That was the, huh? I I mean, they're fucking conspiracy nuts, dude. They're all conspiracy nuts at this point. I guess she Glenn Beck, they're all, yeah. She okay. talked early on about like, yeah, we still have history, but now it's from a different perspective. The perspective is a historical perspective. If it's true that things that America has done poorly in the past have been added to fucking history, <coughs> it's only made those history classes more accurate. So what you're arguing for is for us to have this <coughs> narrow perspective as Americans and only tell the nice stories about America. The founding fathers were all just a bunch of really pious white men who wanted to be free from tyranny. Most popular <coughs> politicians right now is a socialist. And who is his <coughs> biggest following? The young people. The young people of America. The sheep. Absolutely. From the colleges. You're a pin drop. Maybe you understand a little bit what it felt like to live when he lost his train of thought. <laughs> and the ch- yeah, it's like up processing bullshit. I am the bullshit Tron nine thousand. Yeah, he did. He did pause for about like thirty <coughs> seconds right before he invoked Hitler. He must have been having that internal debate. Like, do I really want to? Do I really want to go down the Hitler road right now? Let's weigh the options. <coughs> Stare yep. vacantly at the audience while I pray. Yep, yep, let's do it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Sit there. Church had to sit by and keep watching it and watching it until millions, tens of millions. They had to build 
factories to kill people. The church, the, wait a minute, the church had to stand by and watch it? No, the church supported him. <laughs> Hitler had broad support from the Catholic <laughs> Church, broad support from Protestants in his country. The church was behind Hitler. They thought he was doing God's work. No, -uh. he's a you know, he was an atheist. He was an yeah. atheist. He was an atheist, Paul. How dare Hitler, you? Stalin, and Pol Pot? Atheists. All atheists. All the same guy, practically. I mean, yeah, I, it's well, only, yeah. All killed in the name of atheism. Yep. Whether Hitler was an atheist, <coughs> like personally or not, is completely and utterly irrelevant to the fact that his movement was supported by the religious. It's true. All it takes is a couple bombs and all of America will be dead <laughs> within... You know, like, this is especially insulting when you consider that, like, Bernie Sanders had family killed in the Holocaust. <laughs> I mean, just like, you know, I'm just putting that out there. Like, when you're sitting there showing these concentrated, like, Bernie Sanders wants to do this. It's like, <laughs> really? First of all, like, no, he doesn't at all. Second of all, it's like... laughable. Like, yeah, like, he's a Jew. I mean, it, 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 this is, like, especially <laughs> offensive because of that, you know? Like, oh, yeah. He he wants this. It's like no, he doesn't. That's that's the, literally like it's killed his own family. And, and this shit. guy, this guy is just <laughs> using this sermon as like a means of selling, you know, shitty food in case the apocalypse happens. Okay, Ben, but one ninety-day bucket for you and a fifty-day <laughs> bucket for starving Christians. Ben doesn't want to help starving Christians, guys. There's no such thing yeah. as starving Christians. Stop the dude. genocide, TJ. Order Bonus now. Bonus buckets. Dude, there's no such thing as starving Christians. Box 7330, Branson, Missouri. If this I dude here does believe in God, he's praying every fucking night that Bernie wins or that a liberal wins <laughs> so that he can continue hucking his fucking bomb shelter food. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're right. Less than a year, just months. Rick, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't want to take your time. I, you're my guest, and I got too carried away here. I can't tolerate this much longer. I can't tolerate it. Wow, yeah, the same shit you say every week. I'm getting real sick of this. If, is there more here real sick of this? There was we a need to guy. Do something about it. There was a guy in the front row when everyone started clapping that just kind of looked around and was like, "I guess I'll clap too." Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Uh. Wanted to bring something up really quick. I, I did a poll on Twitter at Drunken Peasants. Uh, I asked the question, you know, who would be the first to lose 30 pounds with their beards on the line? Yeah. Paul uh, Paul got 22%. TJ got 18%. And then 60%, the winner, neither can lose 30 pounds. Damn. Damn. A majority thinks you guys can't even fucking do it. Fuck them. See, that's just that's just absurd. Like, I may be a fat fuck, but I've yo-yo <laughs> dieted my entire life. Thirty pounds is really nothing. Like, I've done it before. I can do it again. I'm just not gonna be happy doing it. I'm not gonna get to eat giant fucking cheeseburgers and bacon mac and cheese and peanut butter Oreos. I wish I had some uh of those in here. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm gonna do the poll again now. It they only last 24 hours. I'm gonna do another one here, <laughs> just to because the people that'll watch this over the next 24 hours can vote on it. Oh yeah, sure. Just don't even give them a neither can do it option. Why? Why not? I wanted to give them that option because that's bullshit. Why is that bullshit? Because that we're. I will definitely false do dichotomy, it. TJ. Paul can probably even do it like a couple <laughs> weeks after I do. So, oh shit. No, I don't have to. I don't so, so you're saying it's impossible, thing. TJ. You're saying it's impossible. All right, you can go ahead and put that up. Well, Paul is claiming that he's going to have it done before the next private show because he said our, dr our drink off is not even going to be a factor in this. Well, yeah. yeah I don't know. Just... Like the next private show is in April, right? Yes. Like early April? Yeah. Okay, well, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. You know what? I thought I'll, it was like, leave... closer to mid, but. Like, yeah, I mean, if it was mid-April, I think it'll be over by then. Early April, we'll see. We'll see. We'll leave it up. We'll leave it up for three days, and then we'll revisit this poll on the next show. Okay. Cool. All right. All right, everybody, there you go. I'm going to vote right now. I'm going to vote right now, too, TJ. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs>
Oh, for I Paul? Who TJ's voting for. Himself. Duh. Okay. Well, what? I'm pretty I'm pretty sure you guys both can lose 30 pounds, so I'm pretty confident. Yeah, it's doable. It's just a I mean, it's a race, you know. And I'm 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 doing the I'm going Jeb Bush route, you know. I'm going How, slow how many and days are wins the race? How many days into it are we right now? Like 3? Three? 3. Okay. 3 days. Dude, I saw Paul, 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 Paul's fucking emails. I'm not even, I'm fucking stoned as shit. I, I saw everyone is, I, I, I am currently ahead of Paul. Yeah. I do, I saw, I saw what you were tweeting though, your fucking dinners. Your dinners look like they were nothing. Paul is barely eating shit. I've cut my calories to just below 1500 a day. Like that's, and I'm not counting every single calorie I eat, but I'm estimating at less than 1500 a day. So, damn. So that's less than you, TJ. So what? No processed foods. He's gonna. He, all he's gonna do with uh, cal his calories too low is slow down his metabolism. He'll just gain more weight. That, yeah, it's, gonna, but that, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing guy, how inept. Fifteen hundred for a guy my size is a good <coughs> calorie deficit for rapid weight loss. Yeah. Well, we'll so. see. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think no. No. -uh. No, -uh, guys. You know. Well, I mean, uh, let's see. -uh. Well, I mean, I'm I'm ahead of you so far. So I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Shit, Paul. What's that? What's that you got? We'll see. We'll see. You know, we'll see how how this shit works Dude, out think, on Friday. I, I think Paul might have had Whataburger or something. Yeah. Oh, by the no, way, I'm sending. I'm using this Whataburger cup as my inside. Oh, okay. Uh, sure, sure, oh, sure. Wow. Hours. Oh, you want to you want to see it? There it is. Oh, Dude. there's the ashes. Oh, that's now. that's from that's from a few minutes. That's just soda resin right there. Yeah. Soda resin. Yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, Paul, I'm sending you a Whataburger uh, gift card. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> well, after I after I uh, uh, no, it's gonna. I'm gonna make sure it expires 30, after before I lose then. thirty rapid pounds and you shave that beautiful baby face of yours, I'll fucking go binge on some Whataburger on your dime. No, I don't think so. I think you're uh, gonna use yeah. it before then. No, it ain't gonna happen, man. <laughs> it will. He's gonna get real yeah, sorry, TJ. Dude. Hey, you might win, dude. Your diet pills and fucking frenetic workouts schedule and. Occasional binges on Oreos, like I'm occasionally gonna eat a whole sleeve of peanut butter Oreos. Hey, I did that not. Might work for you, bro. I it ate might two faster than me, but I ain't gonna slip up. If I look lose, how many are gone, just, look how many are gone, it'll even it'll from be... Scotty just sitting here. Bullshit. He ate that fucking sleeve just so he could be like, yeah, you ate just whole sleeve Oreos. I ate two Oreos. You know, I I, I, I wanna, ate two fucking. I don't want that. I want to point shit. something out. Away from we me. got this giant bag of candy that looked like little bananas. Mm -hmm. I never, literally never even ate one of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there was like, it was a giant fucking bag. It was 90% TJ. And I'll tell you what, TJ can't even, TJ misses his fucking mouth so much when he was eating those things. There were like dozens and dozens of them all <laughs> over the floor everywhere. <laughs> so he was just like throwing them at his face, like hoping that they'd make it. <laughs> In TJ's Just want to point defense, that out, though, and proof that this is a good contest. Like while I was down, you guys got a big shipment of candy and shit. Those banana things came, and two big giant like Milky Bars. Yeah, I ate they a few like, pieces of the Milky Bar. That was good shit. It was really dude, I good. De I devoured like two of those whole fucking bars <laughs> over the course of like two shows. So I'm in the same boat. But TJ, TJ, think it like this strategy he's using that like Paul gonna slip up. It ain't gonna happen, man. I've done this shit before. I, yeah. I at least have the willpower to lose 30, 40, 50 pounds. <coughs> mm -hmm. It's maintaining well, the weight that is the problem for me. I don't know, Paul. You know, one of these, you know, you're gonna get one of your little sad moments is gonna hit you. You're gonna think about your daddy calling you worthless or something. Early shit. results right <laughs> now. Yeah. And you're gonna fucking cry to Whataburger. Yeah. And it's gonna yeah, be good. Right, man. Yeah. 157 votes in, 38% says neither. Mm -hmm. 30, 31 for TJ, 31 for Paul. Fuck. Fuck. I'm the master. Heat. It's a dead heat. <sighs> Did you say I am the master? What? Did, did I? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you did. What, what was, was, what was <laughs> I don't know. I am the master. <laughs> I don't know. The dino shirt Man, is. TJ, just have an Oreo and forget about it. The I don't dino want a fucking Oreo. Get it out of my fucking just face. Have an Oreo shirt. and forget about it. Get the, it away from me. You the Jim, the Jim Asic Park shirt is up to twenty three now. Oh sweet. Wow. Yeah, so it's halfway there already to its goal of fifty. That's fucking awesome. I'm probably gonna get one too. Yeah. 
It's it's too fucking priceless. All right, next video. Um, Alex Jones, liberals creating Satan. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> and they're so delusional, they think they're going to create Lucifer. It's like, he, it's like he was looking oh off into the distance. Like, what was he looking at? Oh. When he came in, it's just like... <laughs> just, just start over, start over. Look at the shit. All right, hold yeah, on. Yeah, we got to screen cap this first moment of this video. Okay. Yeah, well, what is he doing? There he is. Hold He's on. just like... Maybe he just had like a sudden moment of realization that this is what his life is. Uh, he just like, he's just like, I just yell into a fucking microphone about aliens and gay frogs for a living. Holy shit. Does he do the whole aliens thing? I've never seen him do that. Has he? I, I, I thought he did. I thought he delved a little into the alien thing. Maybe I maybe don't I'll, know. No, no, you know what? I'm thinking. I'm I'm crossing him up with some other fucking idiot. He's the one that did the uh, Bohemian Grove shit. Yeah, right? he snuck in uh, to the Bohemian Grove. Okay. I get I get Alex Jones and a bunch of the other conspiratards mis mixed up, but I've been watching Alex Jones since that was a big deal when he s snuck into Bohemian Grove, <laughs> and videotaped the cremation of care. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Oops. And they're so delusional, uh -huh. they think they're going to create Lucifer. Huh? They're atheists that don't believe in God and the devil, but they go ahead and say, I worship Lucifer, like the head of the liberal movement, Saul Alinsky, dedicated his book to Lucifer. Who? But they believe they're building Lucifer. Because... <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't I don't I'm okay, They're first building of all, Lucifer. First of all, who the fuck is Saul Alinsky? I don't know who that the is. The leader of of liberalism. Apparently he's the DJ. leader of liberalism, yeah. I guess. He he wrote um he I think I correct me if I'm wrong. I think he wrote um what, How could I correct? What, what I don't even it? know who the fuck it is. Recipes for radicals or rules for radicals? Okay. Like and and he he's like a big conservative boogeyman because he was apparently like really close to Obama in his early political career and advised Obama. Okay, well whatever. Obama I don't even consider a fucking liberal, but yeah, big deal. Saul Alinsky donate de dedicated his book to Lucifer. And then he says that liberals are trying to like build Lucifer. We're trying to build a Satan. Yeah. Somehow. How does that work? Like, I don't know, but it sounds pretty fucking cool. So I'm, I'm, I'm for it. I mean, yeah, I guess I'd be okay with it. I just never, it never occurred to me to build a Lucifer, though. Yeah, Hillary and <laughs> Bernie both been saying it, you know? Yep. Can you We're say... build can, Lucifer! Can, you say, can someone say that in Bernie's voice? We're gonna build Lucifer! <laughs> I didn't, not that good. It's all right. We're gonna build Lucifer. Oh God! Yeah! Oh, oh yeah, that sounds like her. Fuck. Yeah. Yep. Her fake enthusiasm. Scotty, you can kind of do a Bernie Sanders. We're gonna build Lucifer. I, I, I don't. You're not gonna do it. This guy's a pussy. Humans can envision and build whatever they imagine with enough time and energy. And they've got seven and a half billion of us wired into their system, manipulating us, our labor, our energy to get all our technology, all of our brain trust, and steal it to build some beast computer they're going to merge with and fly off. Uh, is this a plot to a, a bad science fiction movie? Like, what's going on? Is he pitching us? We're going to... What? So, wait, we're going to... We're going to build a supercomputer, and then we're going to... Connect with it and f merge with it. Right, we're gonna merge with it and we're gonna fly off. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. That actually doesn't sound like a bad fucking plan. Like I don't understand why this is like like what what does he want the future to look like? Like just 1950s America with like a Studebaker on the road and like hey howdy howdy there and I, like what are we gonna do when the planet dies? Like when the sun dies? We build a giant computer, we download our collective consciousness into it, and send it to the stars. Yeah, like those fucking weird people in that Alaskan town that all live in one building. Yeah. Overall, that's the greatest threat that the people running the world 
hate humanity, say we're ugly, we're all mentally ill, we have no free will, there is no God, and then behind the scenes, few of them are atheists like Kurzweil, but behind the scenes, I've never found one of them that doesn't say, I love the devil. Ha! <laughs> behind what the scenes. What the fuck? Behind, is, it I, is there like, is there some creepy Hawaiian music or something yeah. playing behind him? There's some absurdly creepy, like, steel guitar. Well, it doesn't really lend what? credibility to, like, your, your claim that you're not crazy. When when it sounds like the uh, the fucking soundtrack to One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest behind you while you're talking about <laughs> downloading human consciousness into a supercomputer Satan and flying off into the galaxy with it, and then saying that every liberal in private, even though they like say they're atheists, really they all love Satan. You know, I was gonna say when we all met, it was like you know me, you, and Paul and Ben. We had a, a moment where, like we love Satan, and Paul's like I love Satan, and we kind of like embraced, and you know, yeah, yeah it's, it's like, beautiful. So uh, you know, like me, I remember me and Paul had that moment. You know, we're like, all right, Paul. You know, so I know on the YouTubes we talk a lot of this atheist shit, but really, man to man, now that we're face to face. You know, you love the devil, right? And Paul's like, oh, of course. And, you know, well, we're yeah. like, okay, yeah, hail Satan. And, and, you know, we ate some biscuits. It was good. Yeah, yeah. All hail the mother computer, Lucifer. Uh, may we all download our consciousness into it and have, <laughs> have, have fruitful sex at the center of the galaxy together. That's what Satan wants. Amen. And I'm going to live forever, and I'm going to have unlimited power. <laughs> You'll never help the general public. They're a bunch of dumb scum, Jones. <laughs> Join us and get the power. You want the power, don't you? <laughs> what? Dude, what is, what is what the hell? Is <laughs> you want mind. power, Paul. You want power. Power. Real. Don't What's fight the for the common that? man, Alex the Dumb. Join us. Join us at Lucifer's side so we can have power. <laughs> Join us in the bowels of the holy machine, Lucifer. Of the ninth circle the of hell. All right, next one. Uh, man claims he found fossils from Noah's flood. <coughs> cool. New tonight, this is one story that may be hard to believe. You gotta see it. An East Texas man believes he found fossils from Noah's flood, and a self proclaimed yeah, fossil expert already. says he's right. CBS uh -huh. 19's Risa Self proclaimed Morris has fossil the expert, story. cool. From Noah's flood to my front uh, yard. Yep. How much better could it get? Wayne Pro. Oh, oh my you god. Pathetic come huckster. On. You pathetic fucking huckster. Come, come on. Why would they actually send someone out to cover this fucking story? Here's a guy in Texas, mind you. Who dug up his fucking yard and found evidence of the flood? <laughs> I mean, self proclaimed expert. What do I, they uh, even mean? I, I, I can fucking hear the conversation that went on like, all right, look, I got this idea. I'm gonna dig a big hole in the front yard. We're gonna call the media, tell them we found Noah's Ark. <laughs> and here it is, dude. It's working. I want to see this fossil. Propst is stunned. He was helping his aunt lay some dirt outside her home in Tyler when he found this. Torotella snail. And this. A petrified snail. And this. They look like hearts. What's really uh, interesting to me is, is we're talking about the largest catastrophe known to man. You know? The flood that engulfed the whole entire world. He called up self-proclaimed no, fossil no expert no Joe Taylor. That confirmed that what Wayne found is in fact from the time of Noah's Ark. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, uh, I'm sure this is a reputable fossil expert. Yep, it's from Hold on. It's from the flood. <laughs> yep, it's from the flood. The Bible's no other, right. No other reason why there would be a sea snail in Texas. Not, not an inland <laughs> sea, not a not a not a tsunami. Nope, nope, nope. It was the flood. It were the flood. I mean like have they they came in like have they even positively identified? Like, how do you know it's a sea snail? How do you know it's not a fucking garden snail? I mean, or... in in <laughs> in New Mexico, there's all sorts of fossils from sea animals. Sure. I mean, because there used to be ocean water there at one point. Yeah, during the flood. <laughs> yeah, sure. Forty five hundred years ago. Yeah. Okay. They turn into fossils that quickly. You know, I mean, like, I don't understand this. Like, so this guy is he's. He's fucking helping his aunt lay some dirt on her fucking land because I guess there's not enough dirt there already. 
And well, that's a lot of horseshit. In the process, he done found a rock with some fucking maybe, maybe possibly snails in it. Therefore, it must be from the flood. What? I mean, like nothing about. And then some self-proclaimed fossil expert. He didn't take it to a real scientist. He took it to a self-proclaimed <laughs> fossil expert. And she's like, look, I, I read your blog about how all these fossils is from the flood. You think this one's from the flood? Yep. All right. Cool. You know, them actual accredited fossil experts, they, they're, they're a little slower to go, yep, it were the flood. So I took it to Joe Guzman. <laughs> Self-proclaimed fossil aficionado. Does he have an AOL.com email address? Yes, yes he does. Uh, <laughs> can we see that uh, email? Is it possible to see that email address? Didn't it sh like, show it earlier? I don't think it did. Oh, man. He says finding those fossils in Tyler is rare. I've never heard of... Uh, there we go. That's the guy, Joe Taylor. Mount Blanco Fossil Museum. Yep, let's listen to what he's got to say. Any of that stuff from over there, I'm surprised that he found it there. For days, Wayne and his aunt Sharon have been combing through this dirt with the help of some neighborhood kids. What does his I shirt say? Something about beer? I don't know. Let's see so if we, we can see. And send pictures of it to Taylor. Yeah. You think that it dated back to when God destroyed the earth? I mean, how much better could anything be? Uh, what? <laughs> wow. God that was wonderful. Every baby on the planet, how much better could anything be? <laughs> What a delusional fuck. Mm. <laughs> you know God really realized everything was a mistake stuff? and destroyed the world. It's great. <laughs> the, go the goddamn thirsty ass Texas news <laughs> picked this up. They were like, some fucking hillbilly dug up his yard. Uh-oh. <laughs> Found the snail thinks it's from the flood. Want to run with it? Yep, send a crew. Like, how do you make that decision? I would have made it. Well, it is Texas. <laughs> For a man who loved dinosaurs. Oh, you were, as a kid, you, you like, uh, there was this weird thing where a second where you were like, yeah. It was like super slow mo for a second. Yeah. But it's gone now. You know what? Um, a lot of people have a favorite moment from the last, uh, post show. Yeah. It was when you said that black retards are popping and locking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually I went back. I actually went back and listened to that post show because there was enough hype around it that people were like, "Man, that was a great post show. It was better than the real show." It's because we watched the most bizarre fucking video ever. <laughs> I mean, so yeah, it, it ended up pretty interesting. But yeah, the the, the black retards popping and locking. Yeah. yeah I, I couldn't get that imagery out of my head for like hours <laughs> after that. I was just like plagued by these high, high thoughts of little black retards. Like, money, 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 money. Don't, 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 don't. Just like the pop lock going on, dude. <laughs> What was the fucking video we watched? I can't even remember how we arrived at that. I don't know. I don't know how we arrived at that either, but the oh. video we watched was the feminism video. No, 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 no. It was it was a video with these oh, two no, yeah, Catholic that was the second people, one we and watched. they were dancing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a terrible video. And we were video. like, all oh, bad white people dancing. And, and I, they, just, I mentioned that uh, my girlfriend, she used to, like, work with retards and shit. <laughs> I can't. What are you? What am I supposed to say? Like, what? What fucking? What terminology is acceptable? The mentally disabled. Man, that's offensive. What the fuck ever they're called now? Real offended. They were retards. I mean, I'm not using it like as a pejorative. I'm just saying they were fucking retarded. And they were dan you know, and they were dancing, and there was like a retard dance, and uh, you know, <laughs> even the they're retarded. The black retards were dancing really, really good, and the white retards, you know, they looked lame. So I mean, I'm saying like even. It's not even, it's like down even to like the level of retards. Black people dance better than white people. It's really offensive. Popping and locking. Popping and locking, man. And whatever else they do. I don't know. I'm not a dance expert. <laughs> <What? TJ. laughs> the white retards are just shuffling around. Like, <laughs> the black retards are doing no, the, the fucking there was, worm and the there running was one, man and shit. There was one like really fat white guy that was like, like a fat, like 400 pound down syndrome dude that was like twerking. <laughs> like oh non-stop, no matter what song. And Chelsea said he was doing that like all night long. <laughs> Just like twerking his big fat down syndrome -y uh. ass. Like, yeah. If you guys want to hear uh. the Poe Show, check it out on SoundCloud. Link in the description.
Uh, tonight we're going to cover some stuff, right? Um, I guess. Did did we decide what we were going to cover? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna think about it. Oh God. Yeah, we're gonna think about it. <clears throat> we'll just see. It's gonna be a mystery. We'll see. It's the mystery TJ's, po show. TJ's mind is fu- befuddled by the scent <laughs> of peanut butter Oreos. No. You know you want a row, TJ. No, I don't. All right, one last news story before we move on here. Uh, Here's some resolution, I believe, in Utah that declares pornography a public health crisis. Cool. Utah lawmakers took a bold step in the final minutes of the legislative session last night. Tanya Mashburn is live at the Capitol now. Tanya, this all has to do with something people don't typically like to talk about. It is, Ashley, and the issue that they don't like to talk about is pornography. People don't typically like to talk about that, TJ. I don't know. I have I like to talk about that. <laughs> I think everybody kind of likes to talk about pornography. For something that's supposed to be so shunned and taboo, everybody talks about it. Everybody, even religious people, talk about porn all goddamn day. Late Watching last night, the, the House passed a resolution declaring pornography a public health crisis. It's the first of its kind in the country, and today, community leaders met at a conference to speak out against what they're calling a growing epidemic. What? Society must see this evil like the epidemic it is. Strong words spoken wow. today about an TJ. issue the community leaders say is... TJ, I think it's time you acknowledge you have a serious pornography problem. Okay, I'm, it's a it's a health crisis, dude. I need to go to the doctor. You're, you're addicted, TJ. I need to go to the doctor. So, man. Can you go one day without pornography? Um, yeah, sure. I don't think so, TJ. I think you're an addict, man. Okay. You need some help, TJ. Okay. <laughs> it's dangerous help, as an infectious disease. We do need to what? see this, like avian flu or cholera or diphtheria. Oh my God. Cholera. It's like, oh, it's like, I love how this is these same fucks probably, this room full of fucking retards probably be like, man, vaccines, man, that's what they got, the mercury, don't need that shit. But then when it comes to made up diseases like pornography, somehow it's like, we gotta stop it. It's a scourge. An infectious disease, DJ. All right, well, you know, (laughs) it's an infectious disease. (laughs) Man, I saw rapidly. I saw this naked bitch shoving a dildo up her ass, and I jerked off. What's wrong with me? And who supports Bernie What's Sanders? What's wrong with young me? Young people. And who's being affected by this pornography? Young people. Uh, yeah. All people. No, nope, young people. All people. Young people. I think, Doc. I think Jimmy's got the pornos. I've been founding little wads of tissue <laughs> around the house. <laughs> the pornos. He's Don't got worry. The pornos real bad. He won't come out of his room, and he's. He's been on red tube for 72 straight hours. <laughs> He's got the pornos. Polio. It needs to be eradicated. Pornio, you mean. Elder Jeffrey R. Holland, yes, member of the LDS Church's Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, spoke at a conference organized by the Utah Coalition Against Pornography. The audience seems riveted. They're literally all yeah. looking down as he speaks. But there's so many of them there. I mean... What it's like the they're fuck? just they're just obligated to be there. Like we're conservatives, we got to go do this thing. Well, these are uh, these are Mormons, Mormons here. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. And you know they're they're fucking all Republican as shit. But yeah, most of them. He Harry said pornography Reed, is a exception. public health crisis and should be treated like a war that people from every I'll faith should like fight together. Catholic bishop. I mean, but let's remember that everything in America is a war. Like if two people argue on Twitter, it's a war for fuck's sake. Yeah. Yeah, they like that Protestant word. ministers, Jewish rabbis, Muslim mullahs have all spoken out on this sin because God himself has spoken out on it. Really? Like, where in the Bible does God come out against porn? I mean, to what extent was was there porn in biblical times? Like, I mean, paintings? That's what I'm saying. So like, how at, can they possibly extrapolate that? Right. To look at a woman with lust in your heart is uh adultery uh, what if they're not married you know single guys you know they can okay. look at porn you, sh- you should be married well, tj then, yeah then it then it's uh then it's being a whore then it's then it's like i've heard ray comfort make the argument that looking at a woman in lust is the same as like having sex with her yeah 
Well, that's pretty. That, the Christians just say that so they can up the tally of women they've had sex with. Hundreds. Well, they, they hundreds. Also, they also say that hating someone is creating murder in your heart. Neat. Yep. So, yeah. I tend to think that actions are. So you could, no, no. In, in Christianity, thoughts are actual sins. Neat. So. That's so fucked up. Yeah, you can't we can't really avoid that. And these thoughts are just our basic nature, which was created by God, according to them. Yep. So it's pretty fucking. But you insane. have free will. Yeah. God gave us these big old testosterone-soaked balls, and then set the rules in opposition to everything that they do. Yep. Yeah. Good design plan, bud. Yeah, it's like creating a cheese grater and being like, whatever you do, don't use this to grate cheese. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone, thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the Drunken Peasants and the Amazing Atheist. Yeah. Um, go subscribe to our Drunken Peasants channel since fucking it's down right now. Yes. And we don't really have much of an update um, compared to the, the last show when we yeah. talked about this. Nothing's really happened. Nope. <coughs> Except for TJ uh, has not spoken with Tommy yet. Well, I heard. I've, I'm hearing that. I, I, you know, last I heard it was gonna be Tuesday, but I just saw some message that was mentioned in Wednesday now, so I'm not sure. We'll oh just, my god. We'll just have to see what the fuck I mean, happens. You wanted to talk to him that night in his fundraising uh, broadcast. Yeah, it's yeah. He's raising funds. Well, hopefully he'll, he'll have responded by the end of this week so we can move forward. We'll see. Whatever. We'll see. You know, one way or another. I mean, uh, it's almost the business days are almost up. Right. So, I mean, one way or the other, this is going to be resolved soon enough. All right. Haha, <laughs> funny comedian. <laughs> Um, I think I know what TJ is thinking about talking about <coughs> the post show, by the way. I just had a flash, a vision of it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wanted to tease that so people knew to come watch the fucking post show. They'll have to fucking find out when they come on to the post show. Okay. Wait and see. <coughs> All right. Uh, here is something that a bunch of people sent to me. It's the anti. You want to move on? Sure. All right. This I don't is everything more to say about this. That. Says Exorcism 101. Run, demon, run. <laughs> it sounds like a fucking metal song. Yeah. Hello, it's 18 March 2016, and doesn't look like this one is though. Exorcise, Exorcism 101. <laughs> run, demon, run. We thought since it was the third month of the 16th year. 316, John 316, this would be good. This is take three. Somebody does not want you to get this information. No, it's four. This is take four. We're yeah. going gonna to discuss the most taboo subject in America, demons. We know hey, all the oh, leaders of demons. I'm sorry, what does it matter what take it is, you bitch? Why'd you interrupt this video with that fucking... Demons have been trying wisdom. to stop their production, TJ. Exorcism 101. It's just annoying. This is take three. It's like, no! No, it's not, Harold. It's take four. You're a liar. You're going to hell. I mean, they're so dumb. They can't even get this on the screen. They actually have to write it on a fucking whiteboard. Like, you know they have no <laughs> choice but to do this. And not only that, I mean, if it was like... I mean, it, it'd be okay to write on a whiteboard if, if it was all written... The, if you could write something that was all the same size as the stuff on the top. But, like, that green shit is pretty much illegible for... Yeah. Fuck, yeah. Like, how different cultures... Something within India. Yeah, the reference he's providing is essentially useless. Yeah, whatever. Exorcism yeah, try reading, run. Try reading the top, the green in the top right. It just, it, I mean, every everything just reads like a like an insane babbling person. Like it's like <laughs> smartphone, German, Deuteronomy, Revelation at the <laughs> bottom, like in red, circled and underlined. Crazy fucks. Possessed, but they run for me. Bill Gates, two star generals, three star generals, four star generals. I can't stand them, and they hate me, and they run for me. Um, they yeah, man, because uh, you know, yeah, sure. In day to day life, you just encounter so many four star generals. Yeah. You know, I see them every day walking around. You just go to the store, like, hey, it's a four star general. What you running for? Yeah, they, they see this pudgy motherfucker, and they just go run in the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> A fucking four-star general would rip your head off and shit down your fucking neck. 
They do not like anything to do with God. They don't like anything to do with life. They hate life. They hate God. They want to destroy everything they touch. What are they and where are they from? Well, we know a long time ago there was a war and Lucifer and his, and his minions were thrown out of heaven. Uh, we haven't even finished construction on Lucifer yet. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. And they came down here to the top of Mount Hebron, Jordan, or I mean uh, the Jordan River. That is, he's doing very sexual things with his hands now. <laughs> Why is he? Why does he look like he's jerking off a horse while describing a, a river? <laughs> I thought he looked like he was spanking on? a girl or something, but whatever. You can go with that her horse jerk off shit, you weirdo. Jerusalem, Damascus, and on top is the is yeah. The first What's on top? Temple in the third dimension, first okay. harmonics to Lucifer. Oh, material room. right. Oh, is called Al Qaeda. Of course. So of course. The CIA attached itself to Al Qaeda because it's demonically run. Right. Um, this war has been going on for millennium. Right, sure. <laughs> it's been and going on for a millennial. Here and, and they're drawing these demons in like a, like flies to a light bulb, and then God's going to deal with them. Um, okay. What do they do? They destroy everything about life. Why doesn't God just deal with them now? They spray us with chemicals to kill us. Well, why shouldn't they spray us with chemicals to kill us? We bring the demons into our home through the television. Oh, I only watch PBS. <laughs> Wait a minute. So now you're now you're justifying <laughs> now you're justifying it like we bring these demons in so maybe we should be killed. But I'm saying we bring like the demons in through the television. Interesting. Uh, but if we if we're bringing the demons in through the television, then why would they need to spray us and kill us? Wouldn't it? We're already corrupted by demons anyway. Like, what's the point of killing someone you've already corrupted? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It seems. It's almost like this this guy is just like self deluded himself in in this. I have a, I have a theory about true believers like this because I don't think this guy's trolling. I don't think he's trying to make money. No. I think he believes he's a big like anti demon warrior, and I think he needs to believe that because he needs to see something real come from his faith. Like there are some people that are just pestered by this niggling like man like religion sure does talk a lot, but when I pray for shit, it don't happen. Hmm. So he needs to make it real. So he invents this personality for himself where he's got Jesus superpowers. And this is just him rambling in front of a whiteboard filled with gibberish. <laughs> I love it. Oh, what the hell happened? Hold on. I made Paul disappear. Poof. Poof. It's uh, gone. Do you know how many demon-possessed people and murderers yeah. are on PBS? Huh? You're oh, tons. Murderers and child tons of them. Into your home. Oh. Of course, Lucifer has a right to destroy us. Oh, okay. Um, so what's the problem? Yeah, what's then? the big deal then? I mean, I don't get it. If he's got the right and he's doing it, yeah, you know, I, why, let him do it. Yeah. I, I, like, what seems you, to me what, like what you're is, the asshole what, here. What is he arguing against? Yeah. He's like, he has the right to do it. It's like, okay, so let's just accept his judgment then. What's the fucking fight about here? Like, why are you bothering fighting the demons? He's got the right. We need to respect them. Even Jesus did. And this, this war is about to end, and the demons are very upset. They don't want this out. How do you get demons? Well, drugs is a big avenue. Uh, they call alcohol spirits. Cool. Um, LSD. Oh, um, shit. Hit. All kinds of things bring the demons. Go ahead, Jane. So, psychedelics. He said LSD and mescaline. Yeah, I met some demons. It was pretty cool. I am a demon. I know. Yeah, the only demons I met are sitting in that fucking room. <sighs> TJ chasing me around in a fucking mask and go, we weren't even trying to freak you out. He's chasing me around the house in a fucking Hannibal Lecter mask. Man, if they say that shit, you know they're lying. No way. There is, that, that is probably their plan. They probably just looked at each other and like, yeah, we're going to fuck with Paul. I think it just kind of evolved yeah. into that. Well, what happened was when we saw that Paul was literally like freaked out by every little thing, mm. like... You yeah, know what? I have to kind of possible. I, I have to call bullshit on that because I remember before you guys kind of probe Paul. You're like, "How do you react when you take these kind of things?" <laughs> like it, it was an inside fucking job yeah, for sure. Yeah. Check I, this I, out. Now you're a conspiracy theorist. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Pretty, pretty much, dude. That should be the uh, screenshot for that, that episode. That happened. We, we we were like, you know, Paul had to have his fucking moment where, like, he looked himself in the mirror while he was tripping on acid. And then, like, he came out. And, like, I just followed him down the hallway so quietly. And I was, like, an inch behind him the whole time. And then when he... It was he, terrifying. 
And then when he touched the fucking doorknob for the garage, I like put my hand on his shoulder like that, and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, it scared the fucking shit out of me, dude. You guys are acting like, he's, oh, whatever, dude. You guys are acting like, it, like if you were in that frame of mind walking down a dark hallway and somebody just put their hand on your shoulder, you'd have been like, what's up? It's time to go to war. Get my nunchucks. Fuck you. You just screamed would. like a princess and threw a, a roll of paper. You see this oh, one? No you see way. this one that someone made? All this is great. <laughs> okay, a choice time. All this is great. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> you had a choice. You had a choice, dude. <laughs> He's going to use this in a video. Oh, of course. Them white, them white boys put my head on a slave. We didn't and do put it. put their heads on the massa doing the whipping. <laughs> yeah. We didn't do that. Some fan did. Yeah. It's fan art. It is. All this shit is. Oh, boy. Here, I'll show another one, too. Okay. Take a look. Predators of the Deep. <laughs> oh, God. Manatees aren't predators. Just that one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, do you want to keep listening to this crazy shit, or do you want? To I, just... I do not. I can't. F I don't know what he's talking. He's just crazy. He's kind of like G Time Johnny. G Time Johnny has a whiteboard too. I think. Uh, this guy's not like G Time Johnny. No. G Time yeah, Johnny no. gives off a nice, awesome. Vibe. Yeah, yeah. This guy gives off a fucking creepy. I'm just. I just mean vibe. in the way that he talks in front of a whiteboard and how the shit he says doesn't make any sense. Yeah. But the the quality of this gibberish is not nearly. Yeah, it's not the G Time Johnny level yeah. now. Hey, I, I, I successfully translated G-Time Johnny. G-Time Johnny makes sense. You just have to listen with your man ears and not your object ears. Oh, okay, you're right. Sorry. Maybe you could translate this guy, too, at some point. All right, let's translate this motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> the collective cringe. Oh. Jesus Christ. Not time for a bathroom break. TVC Mario, and you're here for an end time report. In today's video, I wanted to share some very disturbing footage with you from okay, a video from this article. This hot robot, I mean, hot, they're even sexualizing it, says she. <laughs> robot <laughs> lives matter! Robot lives matter! Wants to destroy humans. White guys Keep in mind, in this is an article uploaded matters. by. <laughs> Matters. White guys part in my face. One of the elites. Media matters. matters. I mean, it's the top one. For those of you who don't know, it's owned by Comcast. Okay. Right. And they are the biggest media dominant company uh, no, in the world. No, look. Look right there, you moron. Disney's is higher. See? 142, 142.7 billion is lower than 149.2 billion. Uh, but their total revenue is higher, TJ. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, 142.7 billion, according to this chart here. Um, so, I mean, just crazy amounts of money in media and control. And well, then why you know is he pointing out that the number then? Societies, the Illuminati, and how they control the world. Uh, they own the major media companies, and what they just did is reveal something very significant here. Okay. Uh, just a shout out to my brother and the Lord Gons from the Face Like the Sun YouTube channel, who also uploaded a video. Uh, I'll uh, leave it linked up for you to check out and highly. Uh, uh, Sophia, the robot that wants to destroy humanity. Yeah. So basically, because some cheeky programmer had this fucking robot say, like, I want to destroy humanity. Ha ha ha. What a funny. That's yeah, funny. But in, in the fucking mind of the vigilant creature, oh my God. Wow. They're just, they're just out telling us what they're going to do. Which, why would they do that? But whatever. I recommend that you subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, but one thing also that he pointed out is even her name is occultic, okay? And the uh. one thing about the Illuminati is exactly that. They're always going to use some type of esoteric, subliminal messaging when it comes to these rituals. Yeah, Sophia, that's is. such it's a... a you never hear that ritual, name anywhere. Uh, prophetically in the end days, I believe it's we're about to see the rise of the Antichrist kingdom. Uh, and um, one of, of the prophecies are. is Nebuchadnezzar's statue, you know, the feet, the iron mixing with clay. Right. And I believe prophecy can have, you know, a, a whole bunch of layers of meaning. Uh, and mm. I think that that's one where we're going to see And you're the only one skilled enough to interpret it, of course. 
It's not a skill. It's like a supernatural ability. Yeah, of remember. course. God gave him the ability to interpret yeah. prophecy. Yes. This creepy robot uh, talks about. But anyways, I won't get too much uh, deeper than that right away here. Let's go ahead and just hear what this creepy robot had to say. Okay, let's All hear right, it. So here we go. Hi, Sophia. How are you? Hi there. Everything is going extremely hey, I'll well. Say Do you like talking with me? Yes. Talking to people is my primary function. Cool. This is creepy, TJ. Hanson Robotics develops extremely lifelike robots for human robot interactions. We're designing these. So it said it wanted to destroy the world, right? Or humans. humans. At some point, it's going to say that, I guess. Yeah. It ain't robots. said it yet. I'm just concerned about how much of this we play. Well, he played health, it all. He's okay. He got away with it. Care, I think we'll be therapy, all right. education, and customer service applications. Right. All right. So right there, that should be a concern Wait. to everyone. I mean, just for the safety of our jobs. Do you know what major corporations are going to do when these things are capable of serving in healthcare, therapy, education, customer service, et cetera, et cetera? They're going to keep enhancing these robots. You know what they're going to do to the average day workforce? You're not going to have a job. When yeah, robots well, can do you know, a lot of fucking carriage makers were put out of business by the automobile. What you going to fucking do? I mean, just how, how shit goes, man. If Mark. some of these, like, robotics futurists are to be believed, like... These these robotic surgeons will be so much more accurate and uh, efficient than human surgeons will be that there won't be a need for human surgeons anymore. So what we should do is we should stop all this research now and forego really, really precision surgery that no human could ever perform to save the jobs of the doctors. Yeah. That, that's, yes. that's where the priority should Ideas be. Ideas I can get behind. We gotta save the surgeon's job. That's much more important than saving more people's lives in surgery, by far. You know, obviously, the world and our economy and everything else shouldn't evolve. We should, we need to stand. But still those, in you time. know, those robot surgeons aren't even gonna want to help people because you hear the robots right here just say they want to destroy humanity, man. The only surgery they're gonna do is slitting their fucking throats. They'd be like, oh yeah, I, I fucking operate on your appendix, but now I'm gonna have to cut your head off because I'm a robot. You know, we don't like you humans. This is the Matrix, bitch. This hot robot, TJ. The this hot robot's robot. hot. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Do your job. Don't think that these large corporations are not just going to fire us and replace us with robots and never complain, never come in sick. Maybe they're going to have to fix them, but they're going to be way more effective than even we are. Of course they'll use them. Uh, and okay, this yeah, so that you just made them, I and that's the argument. If they're more effective, why wouldn't you use I them? We know, I think we all realize to some degree automa automation of a lot of jobs and uh, professions is, in, is basically inevitable. I mean, for all I know, one day there's, they're going to fucking have YouTube fucking robots and shit. Like, ah, you know, and that's going to be the end <laughs> of fucking my shit. I am YouTube robot. Ah. Well, I can't do an impression of a robot that's no, better than I am. If I could do that, I would be that I good. any robot, dude. Oh, okay. Thank you, Scotty. You're so nice. Especially this hot robot. It's something we need to recognize. It's just common sense. I would wish that we would at least apply that. <laughs> is it satanic? And not see this technology as sure something satanic, beneficial. Right? It's actually going to enslave us. But anyways, oh, okay. I won't get too, too deep. Let's go ahead and keep watching. Right. The robots are designed to look very human-like, like Sophia. I'm already very interested in design, technology, and the environment. And I Satan. feel like I can be a good partner to humans in these areas. An ambassador who helps humans to smoothly integrate and make the most of all the new technological tools and possibilities that are available now. All right, so Sky that Net was has a become self-aware. Um, if you notice, she wants to be an ambassador to help. Okay, no, she doesn't want to do anything, all right? She's been programmed to say these I things. I mean, like, if we had, if this was like an actual AI talking to you right now, you could talk about its wants and desires, but it's not. It's a fucking very sophisticated piece of technology, but it's not truly an artificial intelligence. We haven't developed that yet, so there is no desire on her part to do whatever the fuck. There's programming. That's all there is, is there's some fucking programming. A technological ambassador, an artificially intelligent robot, presenting herself as an ambassador of these new not robots correct. that are going to be all over the place and this do, telling this, this humanity robot is that not artificially intelligent dipshit that fucking d designer guy the fucking programmer guy typed all that shit in and made the robot say it 
I mean, the robot might be able to, to fucking use its own phrasing and syntax and shit based on some algorithms or what the fuck ever is going on in there, but if we had, like, true, honest-to-fuck AI, that would be, like, a huge news story. Artificial intelligence finally developed. This is not that. Okay? This is just a very con convincing... It's obviously a very sophisticated fucking robot with very sophisticated programming that's well beyond anyone here's pay grade, but it's not an artificial intelligence, and it doesn't have fucking whims and desires and shit. It doesn't... When it says it wants to be an ambassador, that's because it's what it's programmed to fucking be. She wants to assist us in integrating with technology at the highest level. This is very alarming. This is literally an invitation to transmutate our bodies and become something different. Humanity was created in the image of God, and this is why this stuff's satanic. See, they want you to modify about this shit. that. See, they're, going they're all worried about this shit. It, yeah, and you know what? They have a, they, they're worried about it because it's actually happening. And I'm sorry to tell you, Mario, it's going to happen. Cybernetic limbs are already a thing. Uh, technology being on the steep curve that it's that it's been on, if it continues that way, people are going to have fully integrated cybernetic limbs in a couple of generations. It's going to happen. Humanity is going to improve itself when needed. It's just that doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean that the Terminator is going to happen. <laughs> it, it is. We are the Borg. I mean, it could. Simulated resistance. It could happen. Time. I mean, fucking even uh, even like Stephen Hawking has has cautioned against that sort of stuff. But self replicating AI it has nothing to do with Satan. And this he, he's acting like this robot here. Like this robot is like a, an artificial intelligence that's like sitting here telling us like, "Yep, I'm gonna take over." It'll be great. To falsely create this evolution that you yourself can become a god by merging oh. with the artificial intelligence and the technologies. And I know this might sound crazy, but keep in mind, I'm this sorry, is going to happen oh, very quickly. evolution! I know this might sound oh. crazy. He's so ignorant. <laughs> that should be like the name of his fucking channel. Yeah. I know I might sound crazy with Mario. The evolution of technology happened so quickly. I mean, just think not long ago, some of you may not remember, but the Zach Morrison cell phone, if you watch Saved by the Bell, um, you know, growing up, you can identify that we went from that to smartphones here today in no time. And think. I mean, the it was, first. It wasn't no time, you fucking idiot. I mean, the first uh, smartphones were in Star Trek, pretty much. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But, um, or at least the first cell phones. I mean, I don't know. The, the, <coughs> you could probably trace its genesis somewhere in sci-fi, huh? but yeah, Star Trek would be my guess. But I mean, this is just, I mean, this is so fucking silly. I mean, every time we watch one of Mario's videos, it's just like downright fucking ludicrous. I, his reaction to it is what's ludicrous, because all these things that he's talking about are going to happen. Like, integration, like, I'm not, I'm not a major, like, transhumanist guy, but it's happening. Like... Integration of machines into the biological body is going to be that's the next frontier, right? It's going to be this augmented reality glasses. It's going to be <coughs> eyesight that's that's way beyond what anybody can <coughs> can have normally. Rehabilitative <coughs> shit for people that are crippled. You know <coughs> what I mean? Like all of that shit's right around the corner. <coughs> yeah, I would say so. Unless we I destroy just don't ourselves first. How it's bad. Like, man, people with no legs can walk again. Shit! Shit! That's why, against why? God's plan! Yeah. I haven't even heard this robot say she's gonna destroy humanity yet. I wanna hear that part. Okay. Think of Sophia and where right. robots like this are gonna be in five to ten years. They're going to surpass humans. It's just ridiculous to do this. Okay. Uh, it's not using the best intellect that we, we have here, uh, creating something. Uh, that, that's going to surpass us and, and take over our jobs and make us completely Check useless in the system. Just not smart. Anyways, let's keep going. It's a good opportunity for me to learn a lot about people. Sophia is capable. And she wants to learn a lot about people. And that's what it's going to okay. be. It's going to be a way for she doesn't the elite to study us at a higher level. Uh, these robots are going to be led in the homes and they're going to have artificially intelligent homes. They call it smart homes. Every device is going to be hooked up, your robot. So, I mean, the big brother or Orwellian system of the New World Order uh, is going to oh, come so into they, existence they can faster everything with these do. technologies okay. being integrated into our everyday lives. So this is just something that we need to avoid and fight against. 
You know, we know that the elite, the, the, the government, is watching our emails. Hey, is, Mario. Uh, spying pa on... Hey, hey, Mario. All this shit, like this YouTube and all these smartphones and all this shit in front of you, people have all adopted it of their own free will. No one's put a gun to the head and said, you know what, you have to use a smartphone. And so is he, by the way. Yeah. He does use it, and it's, it's just ridiculous to be like, oh, you know, this is going to lead to destruction of everything. Like, this is things and ideas and times, and everything evolves, Mario. You love the word evolution, it evolves, and it's going to continue to evolve, and nothing you're going to do is going to be able to stop that. I mean, at every crucial point in human history, people like Mario have existed. Like, they got these newfangled things called cars. Well, let me tell you, I'm going to ride my quarter horse down to the store till the day I die because a machine don't move on its own. That's witchcraft. You know what I mean? Like, people like Mario, at every, every big leap in human progress, there have been people going, nope, it ain't godly. Don't do it. I mean, people they're the, anyway. always on the wrong side of history. I mean, there's yeah. the Amish. You know, they're still doing that. Yeah. Yeah, Mario can just be the new Amish. We're just, we're stuck in the early 21st century. <laughs> That's when technology went as far as it should ever go. No further. Their own citizens. And now we want to have the possibility of, you know, integrating. I can't handle any more of this. Whatever. I guess the robot at some point says that it's going to destroy humanity, but who can get through Mario's prattling? <coughs> All right. Uh, let's do this one. Um... <laughs> So the 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 kind of creepy Wybian atheist guy discovered Mercedes Carrera. Oh wow! No <laughs> need play that shit. Greetings, studs and vixens. This anti-feminism, anti Anita uh. Sarkeesian path is leading me to some very interesting places. Who knows where it'll lead me to ultimately? You don't want to see anti Anita Sarkeesian. I just Sarkeesian. discovered another interesting anti-feminist who our friends at the Drunken Peasants call the antithesis of Anita Sarkeesian. We do? Uh, uh, maybe we said maybe that we at said one it. point. Maybe. Uh, who knows? <clears throat> and guess who that is, if you don't know? Yes, Mercedes Carrera. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Next thing you know, there's going to be a book. Oh, wow. Dude. There's going to be a book. Dude, uh, <laughs> this guy was that watching every one of her videos, I guarantee you. So, uh, let's see. There was Jacqueline Glenn, and then there's there was Sarkeesian. Yeah, and now there's Mercedes Carrera. And pretty soon there's going to be a menage a trois between the three of them in his next book. Fighting for him. Yeah. Fighting for his love and affection. Among other things I find interesting is that she shares three things with me. She is very passionate. She loves freedom of speech. And she seems to devote her life to it like I do. And the third thing is... She said she was on the autism spectrum. No comment. Uh, so, so I was gonna say, so TJ, you have something in common dude, with Dude, so Mercedes, Mercedes has uh, the love interest of her life. I hope she follows up on this. Yeah, man, we should hook these two up. Just get these two together. They have a lot of things in common. Mercedes, you need to fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my tell, god, dude. Just tell me how much money it'll take. I'll fucking open up my wallet. N what? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'll finance this. <laughs> I, I think it'd be more money than Are you, you going to film it, too? Oh, oh, come on. It won't be that much. It shouldn't be that much money. I have to film it, too, because otherwise it's prostitution. Right. But if I film it, it's a porno. That has to be a storyline, too, remember. Yeah, the storyline <laughs> is, you know, he, he writes a book about her, and, and she, she falls in love falls with him. in love, and then okay. she comes and fucks him. Dude, if, if that porno actually happened, I would take like really, I would take like really long odds on him coming before he got anywhere near her vagina. Like I would take like fifty to one odds on that. Maybe he'd, maybe he'd lick her legs for thirty minutes. Uh -huh. <laughs> You've got to lick the legs. <laughs> yeah. Lick, uh... <laughs> lick the legs. <laughs> Why make some legs? Oh my god. That was certainly unexpected. So hey, it's very cool if you ask me. Who knows where this anti Anita Sarkeesian path, this campaign to Okay, how are you anti Anita Sarkeesian? You've written books about having sex with her. Yeah, and, and also Did you love Anita, come on. And uh, yeah, and also like this this is kinda uh died down. I I mean <sighs> The Anita Sarkeesian thing has, has died down, I would say, in many ways. Sure. 
It's been going on forever. And, and now he's just now talking about it. Oh, yeah. The vacant what? lack of self-awareness in his eyes is fucking with me right now. Yeah. <laughs> the great it's thing, too, like, is that... Um, when he was when he was an antagonist against atheism, he had a crush on Jacqueline Glenn. And now that he's yeah. anti-feminist, he has a crush on Anita Sarkeesian. So, I think he always likes women that oppose him ideologically. Man likes a challenge, you know. To seduce Anita Sarkeesian will lead to. Have a great day. Thank you. I will. Uh, All right. Thanks to you, I already have. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Oh God! What is he ever so, herpy? I don't know. Maybe it's either a mole. Let's not herpy. speculate. Yeah, New atheists misrepresent religion to promote Islamophobia. <laughs> okay, sure. Comrades, there's a growing movement to smear all Muslims as supporters of Islamic extremism and groups like ISIS and Al Qaeda no. simply because was, they share the same religion. That. But the basis of these arguments is incredibly flawed and has obvious ulterior motives. People like Bill Maher, Sam Harris, Richard Dawkins, and a few other wow, prominent wow. figures are considered to be the main face. That's crazy. Total bullshit. I mean, Sam Harris's most recent book is him having a fucking dialogue with a moderate Muslim about reforming Islam. Nope, he, he just has dismissed all Muslims as bad, TJ. No, he hasn't. They, they did the same thing with Bill Maher. It was fucking Sam Harris and Bill Maher and Ben Affleck. We all fucking know that, but it's just ridiculous. Like, I think Ben Affleck really represented the other side a lot more honestly because, he, you know, he's obviously not very good at containing his emotions. And he's like, you guys are disgusting, you know? His exact words were, that's gross! That's racist! Yeah, that is what he said. <laughs> ah, ben Affleck! I'm gonna play Batman, even though I can't even fucking play Daredevil! Ah. Fuck you. <laughs> of this new brand of secular fundamentalism called New Atheism. Ugh. It's important not to confuse them with regular atheists who simply believe there's no God and have regular no political atheists. motive they in believe that belief. There's CJ no Whirlman <laughs> describes New Atheism yeah. as a post-9-11 reactionary anti-religious movement that proactively seeks to eradicate religion. You believe there's no God, Well, that's the, that's the most dishonest <laughs> definition of New Atheism I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, you're more referring to an anti-theist. Yeah, I mean, like, but even, <clears throat> but even that, even that, that, that's that, that's a strong definition even for an anti theist. I would I mean, say. Yeah, like even fucking like uh, the mo <clears throat> the most an like like fucking Christopher Hitchens or something. Like, yeah, he wanted to defeat religion. He viewed religion as a force for bad in the world. But you know, when you use the words like eradicate religion wherever and whenever it can find it. That, that to me, kind of, like, <coughs> almost seems, like, evocative of, like, violence. Like, they're gonna go fucking kill religious people or yeah. some shit. <coughs> Which is just bullshit. Wherever and whenever it can find it. <coughs> His assessments are very much in line with their statements. A few months ago, Richard Dawkins sent out a tweet saying, No, all religions are not equally violent. Some have never been violent. Some okay, gave it up but, centuries but ago. One religion conspicuously didn't. But it's true. Wait, conspicuously? Conspicuously, yeah. Oh, oh, conspicuously, God. dude? Conspicuously. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's the word you're looking for. Conspicuously. Neat. <laughs> Look at this. Look at his face. Uh, <laughs> derp, this derp. Is, this is screen cap material right yeah, here, man. Yeah, let's get this derp face. Yeah, dude. People want to people wanna, people wanna caption this. For sure. <laughs> oh, what a dipshit. <laughs> Conspicuous. Conspicuous. Can you guess which one he's referring to? You guessed it. It's Islam. Unfortunately for yeah, him. Yeah, well, the reason he's referring to Islam like that is because Islam is fucking demonstrably the most violent religion right now. Yeah, just let's look at the number of conflicts, number of deaths, like everything that's going on in the Middle East and Muslim countries, the instability in many Muslim uh, controlled areas. I mean, there's a massive migration uh, into Europe right now. I mean, why would that be going on if it was a peaceful and stable region? Not only that, but just like set even aside like the jihadists and shit. There's still a huge problem with Islamists, which are basically people who want Islam to just be forced upon the land as a theocracy. Like, yeah, a caliphate. Yeah, that just means, like, theocratic Muslims. And that's a huge percentage of Muslims. That's like 20 to 30 percent of Muslims. Islamism, 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 Every fucking time. It's fun. Islamism. Yeah. Islamism. He's wrong. Yes, there are extremists who claim to act in the name of Islam. But there are also progressive Muslims in places like Turkey, Indonesia, and obviously in the West. 
Okay. But they're so Buddhist what? extreme. You mean, so the fuck yeah. what? You mean the you mean the progressives in Turkey that are being arrested and, and having the newspapers taken over by the government? Yeah, yeah, those, those places. I mean, look, if you look at any uh, index of freedom, like freedom of the press, freedom of speech, most Muslim countries are pretty fucking low on the list. Look, any any of these atheists going around saying, all oh, Muslims are this or that, like, I've seen them. I've encountered yeah, them. sure, I have too. They're fucking morons. Yeah. Okay? And the fucking vast majority of the atheist community... Whether they're on the fucking right or left, or whether they're SJWs or they're not, realize and this recognize is a, this that is that's a bullshit. Bla this is a blatant straw man. If you listen to what Bill Maher and Sam Harris and all these people have said, none of them have fucking made those statements. Right. Every single person he brings up <clears throat> as be as believing this is it does not. Maybe there are some people out there. I mean, there Bill Maher said plenty of Muslims on his fucking show. Like, really? You really believe Bill Maher just wants all Muslims dead? He's talked to plenty of fucking Muslims. Or he just thinks like, oh, Muslims, they're inherently the fuck, they're inherently shit. All Muslims are this way. Like, no one fucking believes that except for, like, the fucking fringiest fringe of stupid fucking retards. <coughs> In Myanmar and other parts of Southeast Asia, which can be contrasted with Tibetan Buddhists like the Dalai Lama, who preach peace and love even in the face of violence. Mm -hmm. There yeah. are Christian extremists in Africa. <coughs> yes, but there yeah, are also yes, there are, progressive sure. Christians in Western Europe who sure. help the poor. So fucking what? Congratulations, yes, this is all true. There are, there are extremes in religion. Obviously, no one's even ever disputed that. But here's the fucking problem. Here's where your fucking ability to recognize nuance fucking fails. You fucking... Do a pi conduct opinion polls of fucking the Muslim world, and the fucking results are disastrous. I mean, there, there's tons of people who are anti-democratic. There's tons of people who support shit like suicide bombings and honor killings and jihad and fucking Islamism and all this other shit. So, I mean, like... So How can you say when there's like huge look, majorities of people that support Sharia law and shit? And, and fairness that to this guy, there's no problem with Islam. It's just totally to the, fine. This guy, some people in those countries don't support those ideas, but they're not the majority. And maybe there are some countries where there, yeah. there's more progressive Islam uh, Muslims, and then there's other countries where there's practically none, or maybe there are none, or maybe they are just afraid to come out of the woodwork because they'll be fucking killed. Because, because also, when we say that, look at the laws of most Muslim countries. They reflect a more conservative opinion. It's not like, mo it's not like any of the laws in, the, in these countries, for the most part, really or reflect the more progressive and liberal Muslims. And these motherfuckers, they, these, these are the same guys that fucking hate conservatives, but then if you're a, a Muslim who's conservative, oh shit, then you need protecting. Fuck TJ, you. TJ, the you, you're just such a fucking Muslim apologist, micro dick <coughs> piece of shit. God. Yeah, that's me. Now, Dave wants to send you a nasty letter, TJ. Get it punished, man. Don't hate Muslims enough. <laughs> They're all scum, and you know it. And campaign for equal rights for minorities. How is their interpretation <coughs> so wrong? Part of it is a conscious ignorance, especially when it comes to the existence of extremism in other religions. But another part of it is a flawed understanding of also, how people use religion. Pause it. Also, so basically the problem with this entire thing is the is is are, are atheists. In the Muslim and, the, and, the, and all the problems when they're going on in the Middle East and the Muslim world, the problem is not that what's going on there, it's how people here are reacting to it. That's the real problem. How fucking ignorant can you, you possibly be? You figured it out, Scotty. You <coughs> figured it out. Reza Aslan, a religious scholar, says new atheists believe the followers of religions oh, yeah, see religious source. texts more as how-to yeah. guides to be taken fully and literally, essentially taking their values from their religion. However, he says in the real world, people bring their values to their religions and find their own meaning in the texts. Yeah, some do, some fucking don't. I mean, goddamn it! Like, I love how your refutation of "Hey, Islam is more violent than other religions" is "Hey, there's violent people in other religions too." No one has made a statement to the fucking contrary. It's not a matter of are there extremists in other religions. It's a matter of is doesn't it seem like one religion is is especially fostering extremism? Doesn't it seem like at least right now? At this current point in fucking history, one religion kind of is leading the way for violence and instability and fucking theocracy and shit like that. I mean, come on. I mean, are you really going to deny it? Well, to be fair, Islam is the only religion doing that openly. <coughs> I, ha I have different ideas on the death toll of Christianity in recent years. Uh, because it becomes increasingly hard for me to separate the uh, horrible foreign policy decisions 
that our our politicians make and the constant pandering that they do to the religious right in this country that, that yeah, especially a, a in the, especially in the bush administration and i could definitely yeah. see that fucking <laughs> argument but i mean even still the problems with islam remain even if you can say, even if you can make a case like christianity is just as bad or it was just as bad or it could be just as bad <laughs> yeah it still doesn't fucking magically fucking ma wave a magic wand over islam and make it good it's still shit essentially picking and choosing which <coughs> passages support their views he uses the example of abolitionists and slave owners in the united states who use the exact same bible to support but that's views, how religion works. Often even the exact same passages. That is how religion when works. The question of how most religious people don't take their text literally, new atheists simply brush it off as those people not being true believers in the religion. This inability to look past the worldview to the reality is what leads to the promotion of violence by new atheists, which are often in line with what many neoconservatives. Oh, right. Yeah, of wow. course. What a wow. Okay, so Islam doesn't promote <laughs> violence, but new atheism totally fucking does. Wow, amazing. Great. That's just that's just fucking great. Because remember that new atheist holy book? Well, we don't have holy books. Remember that book that we all inexplicably defer to where it says that, you know, um, women can't be raped and that, you know, if you do rape a woman, Dude. you just have to marry her and that you should kill infidels he, he's saying like smart, them and shit he's saying like, like that. He's saying like smarmy neckbeards are the real fucking danger of the uh -huh. world. Paul's egos of the world just out there. Just a ticking, a sleeper cell, a ticking time bomb. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Blow. <clears throat> you already blow. Oh shit. Oh shit. Come at me, Paul. Go, and Christian fundamentalists. Go have an support. Oreo, TJ. He hasn't had one yet. I have one. I have one right here. <clears throat> you know what? You know what? It's Am I going to eat it, Paul? Hey, Am I'm I going to eat it? You're doing it right here. You ain't going to do it right here on the show. But when you get home tonight in the watches oh, of the shit. evening, couple of couple of joints down to the <clears throat> down to the roach. <laughs> Watching some shit, you're gonna remember them peanut butter Oreos, and I know, I know, my homie Scotty gonna leave them somewhere where you can find them too. You are correct. And you know, we'll see, Paul. We shall fucking see. see <coughs> we shall see. It's odd because new atheists claim to be liberals, despite having so much in common with the right wing, and are now essentially accepted to be secular fundamentalists. Christopher Hitchens was a well-known supporter uh, of the Iraq War and believed the country would be a beacon of stability in the region. Okay, but, yeah, Christopher Hitchens did support the Iraq War, but practically every <coughs> fucking buddy who admires Hitchens, like, that's the one thing they disagree with him on. <coughs> yeah. Like, pr what I've heard at least a thousand people say, you know, he made the best case for the Iraq War I ever heard, but... I still ain't convinced. It's still bullshit. Did he ever change his opinion on that? No, he never nope. did. Oh, okay. Of the American invasion, but clearly he was wrong. Sam Harris has supported the profiling of Muslims and argued torture may be an ethical necessity in our war on terror. Wow. New atheist push Islam. That's been that's been corrected so many fucking times. I can't believe you're actually trotting it out. Like that has been that that accusation has been levied at him by several fucking people, and he's defeated it several fucking times. It, it, you know what she it's like and people, yet here it is again it's people like sam harris exercising his right of freedom of speech they're the ones causing all the problems in the world yeah i, I love how criticizing um, the violence of religious zealots is the real problem i mean just like i mean like take a fucking step back and just examine your worldview where New atheism is somehow causing people to be violent, but Islam, a religion whose text explicitly instructs its followers to be violent, has no connection with all of the Islamic violence going on in the world right now. Totally I mean, divorced. I mean, just come on. I mean, this is just intellectual dishonesty to a fucking in insane extreme. And, you know, if you're going to make a, cr a crazy point... I would I'd be open-minded. I'd listen to your reasoning because maybe I'll find something in there that, oh, wow, maybe he's actually right. But the shit you're giving me is so bad and so off and so poorly researched and so fucking run through a fi the filter of a thousand straw mans that it's just gibberish. <coughs> this is just pure fucking dreck, dude. Phobia. Because of a misunderstanding of and hate for religion. Mm -hmm. They don't believe in a god. And believe that
that by eradicating religion, the world would be a better place. However, they seem to be completely unconcerned that the methods their rhetoric supports to attack religion are violent and oppressive in themselves, <coughs> namely unending wars where the most poor and disadvantaged are collateral damage. And so what wars did the atheists start again? Yeah. Yeah, wasn't it Bush saying, like, you know, he prayed on it, you know, and God said to invade, you know, gotta kill them all, come on, it, my, my fucking sky daddy told me to do it, so I have to do it. That's the, you know, that's a common misconception. What Bush actually did was he prayed to the atheist God, and then he's like, oh, the atheist God doesn't exist because there is no God, so let's attack that country. Yeah, that's he what was happened. He was drawing up the plan, <laughs> and he said... I need myself a new atheist. Get me that Sam Harris stat. And he and Sam Harris sat down and <coughs> planned out the entire Iraq <laughs> War debacle. What are, you, what are you talking about, man? I should get my friend Hitch in here. Yeah, he's got he, some good ideas, too, about how we can fucking make this war happen. He would make a better argument uh, if he it, focused on the things he's talking about right now. That is the role American interventionalism in the Middle East <coughs> plays in this recent uptick in mass violence from Islamic people. I mean, why 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 can't we discuss that? Because that because, I could listen to. Because that would at least have some sort of argumentation behind it. He doesn't want to do that. He just wants to vilify <laughs> new atheists as like, oh, they're the true enemy. They're the ones truly supporting violence. far-reaching government surveillance that threatens the freedoms we generally associate with Western democracy. Comrades, we need to actively fight the false narrative of new atheists toward religion, and more specifically Muslims. Because as I said in the last video... Yeah, I think he's that, a communist. Well, but they're anti-religion the for the most part, so I don't understand that either. We have common problems we can more effectively face together, and we can add new atheism to that list. If you agree that new atheists are wrong and need their ideas challenged, make sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe <laughs> for more. Thanks for yeah. watching. You, you didn't even describe uh, their ideas. Like if you want me to continue uh, uh, fighting new atheism, like this video so I can get paid. <clears throat> by the way, like our video. There's 5,000 of you watching. Oh, oh, and by the way, this guy really cares about his privacy, but follow him on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Tumblr, or Google+, Plus, and also subscribe. 5,000 viewers and only 1,600 likes. That's a fucking crime. Yes. That is a fucking crime. I am sickened to my very core <coughs> by the disgustingness of these fucking viewers watching. All right, TJ, right TJ. Yeah. What, what if we get 3,000 likes? Will you eat an Oreo? Um, how yeah, about, I guess. <laughs> how about you do a, a beer bong instead? No, I'll eat the Oreo. All right. I, I want that more than the beer bong. One <laughs> Oreo. Dude, that's going to open the floodgates, too. No, it won't. I'm hoping so. Bet you can't eat just like, one. If we get, like, 3,500 likes, can you crush up an Oreo and snort it like a line of Coke <laughs> and then down a big um, glass of whole milk? No, I'm not going to do the whole milk, but maybe I'll snort the Oreo. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. All right. Let, <laughs> we'll see what happens here. Not even close. So Please right now let we're, this at, happen. we're at 2,000 right now. They got one Come more. on, you fox. Who doesn't want to see TJ snort a fucking Oreo? <laughs> I know, just right? Like, <laughs> just like the fucking video, please. I'm not really going to snort an Oreo. Oh, what oh. the fuck? Come on, I am. spoil sport, dude. Come on, so, dude. Try so what information? We're going to be doing the post show soon. What information can we give them about the post show? <clears throat> I don't know, because I don't know what the post show is going to be about. You know, it's going to flow where it goes. What? The they're going to they're gonna have to listen and find out. Oh, man. It's a mystery. It's a mystery, man. I think there I might mean, be a situation on tonight. <laughs> so. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe a certain antifragile will show up. <laughs> you, know I mean? you never know. Who can say, Paul? Who can really say? <laughs> Not I. Let's go, you want to go do the post show now? Yeah, we're going to yeah. do it. I was just looking at the... Uh, they, they, it's, it's nowhere near it. We're, we're going to do the post know. show. I don't know. Damn it. Post show? You failed us. You failed being Paul. Join us in the post show. All right.